get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, it. no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch, never miss, man. I always stay up. Don't let them see you, bitch. Always have a plan to stay tough. This life ahead of you ain't easy. It was built to be rough, but that's what makes a personality is tragedy, bro. Uh, so keep your head on your shoulders. Now we ain't out here moving rocks. We out here moving boulders. Now we ain't getting postal rides. We out here making posters, and we ain't got nothing to hide. We move forward like soldiers. You better wake up for the pay stub or you'll pay up. Don't make love to the game, bro. Fuck the game up. Change up for your range stuff to your greatness. Same us for the way up. Play the game, bro. Never stop. Don't get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit. Keep going till I got it. I won't give Till I'm on top, yeah. You know I'm always honest. There ain't no way I'm ever stopping. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. I'm always hurting with pain. She like to hurt me and maim. I'm always working to change, but she's still lurking the same. I keep on building a dynasty while the haters be trying me, but they hate from inside. You see, hate themselves in society. So I let them speak quietly while my actions speak wider. See, they be hiding in privacy with the screen. Oh, the irony to hate someone who's trying to be whatever. Positivity. I feel like we all just hate on everything is killing me. Thoughts build quick, causing different possibilities. Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities. So do better. Work hard under pressure. If you got no time, work smarter than ever. Don't ever let them tell you that you can't ever say never. And turn your mind into the truest to go get us. Hello, Scrabble fans. Man, that's such hype music. <laughs> uh, welcome to Scrabble Skirmish Elite CSW di Division Edition. I am Josh Sokol, or maybe I'm Josh Greenway, or maybe I'm Josh Castellano. You guys are going to get very confused today. Uh, above me is Josh Castellano. Uh, Hello, everyone. To his right, to his right, Matthew O'Connor. Hello. And below, Matthew Tunnicliffe. So we got two Matthews. Two Joshes. We got producer Josh making all this uh, rain for you guys. Uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that music. But yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, how's everyone doing, Josh? Uh, I'm pretty good. Um, I, I just played in a Coco one day yesterday, um, and that went well. So I guess I'm following that up with some more Scrabble. Nice, we'll nice. see how it goes. What about you, O'Connor? Well, I got a one day next week, so I guess this is my warm up. Okay, so it's like, so for for Castellano, it's like, oh, okay, been there, done that. For you, it's uh, this is serious. Okay, ton of clip. What's up? I'm doing okay. Also, coming off a couple tournaments, one last weekend in Ottawa, and the weekend before that in Montreal. So it's been Scrabble every weekend for me. Cool. Well, um, man. I'm going to get beat up today. I can feel it. I, you guys have been playing more Scrabble than me. Um, yeah, so how does this work? Ten minutes per side. Two players are playing. Two players are commentating. First game is going to be between Castellano and Tunnicliffe. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to say the last names, I think, for this one. But, um, yeah, we can get it started. Um, if you guys want to match each other. Just, All right, just sounds get good. this thing on the go. What's the first? And these uh, are going to be no overtime, right? No overtime, ten minutes. Yeah, and we're commentating, O'Connor, you and I. All right. Sounds All right. Good. Sounds good. Let me get this going. Do it. Sounded like an echo, but it was actually just you two saying the exact same thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll get that link if they yeah. don't. And uh, yeah, so what's going on? Um, well, you're I'm the only person up here in this skirmish that isn't like part Canadian. That's right. I am. I got my At Twitch shirt least. on. I'm ready to oh, go. Oh yes. Yeah, so you got the Hikaru Nakamura shirt for uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> the streaming shirt. Oh, yeah. Where are you located right now? Boston. Still in Boston? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So East Coast. Everyone's on the East Coast. Yeah. Woo. Uh, I'm, I'm getting nervous. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is brought to you guys by uh, Let's Play Scrawl.com. 
you guys want to get into Scrabble, that's a good place to go. Um, we are elite players. I mean, I guess, kind of. But, um, okay, they have the link, I think. Let's look at the, uh, yeah, let's get this link here. Here you go. Um, yeah, we are elite players, so don't be, uh, don't be shy to, uh, to get started. We've been playing for a long time. All right, what and, we got? Oh, is right. he going to open with Tunny? That will be fun. Huh. I guess Yamun Actually... is but No, I mean, I think Yamun is better. Yeah, Yamun. Yeah, okay. So. Tunny was the first thing that came to my mind. That would be very funny. It's his nickname. It's a shortening of his last name. It would be really cool. No, he, he does, does it. it. Honestly, I don't know. It's probably a slightly worse, but it's, it's not it's that probably, bad. Yeah. NT is great and Yamun scores better, but uh, what do we got? Kauri. You know, it'd be great. Like, it'd be great if uh, skirmishes had like dark mode. I mean, that would be like a huge improvement, right? <laughs> yeah. So, what about, I don't know, Kauri is seemingly all right. Scores yeah. 26. To that Y and Tony C O W R. Yeah, that looks pretty C-O-W-A-N, good. C O W A N. If you hate uh, vowels, <laughs> he doesn't know how to do dark mode. <laughs> yeah, if you vowels. hate vowels, I mean, that's one of the that's a really uh, tense discussion these days. I mean, I guess like how bad are vowels really? Uh, yeah, the calorie does vowels. come down. Okay, so but, what we got for math? We got Z Z A and Z O and A W. There's, there would be a very fun word with an E on the board. He could play commies, but there's no mm-hmm. E on the board. So, no. But that's a fun one to think about. Yeah, we're probably uh, just going to see uh, a two-letter word here. A few more seconds of thought. I think, you right. play, I think you play Z-E, right? Because then you have the A for Azo. And it's also, yeah. I guess, slightly... Yeah. Slightly more difficult oh, to overlap. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of A's out, though. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. So he might uh, not. I don't know. He might just be setting it up for his opponent. I mean, there's yeah, uh, yeah. still eight A's left, and there's uh, what a Z A, and now uh, I guess it's honestly. Not- I I actually think Z E is an improvement. I, I know what you. I hear what you're saying, but like just in case. Just yeah. in case Pona doesn't have it. And it's it's a lot harder to put a tile at, at 6J, right? There are, there are fewer three-letter words that end yeah. in EW. He has, he has the uh, M. Like, he can already sit and play M-A-M or K-A-M if he wants to. Yeah, I actually think that was a small... Uh, I don't know. It's, it Josh's seems weird. Turn. He's going to overlap weird. somehow. The question is... Well, no, he's probably just going to play A-W. By the way, like for people that are just joining, uh, yeah, this is 10 minutes per side, no overtime. Uh, right behind you is Josh Castellano. Everyone else, I think, yeah. is your name on there? Yes, yeah, my Is it going to say? Okay. Uh, it's kind of funny that the person who made the site is the person without his name on there. Oh, yeah, tell us about that. Um, yeah, Josh Castellano, integral part of the Google's team, putting this website together. Matthew Tunnicliffe. I see the first thing that comes to my mind is Memo under Tunny because I don't think he has anything with the Q with that U. So I think he's going to play Memo underneath Tunny. What about Suk? S U Q? Ooh, that is an option. I don't like it because it yields the, or it, she, it uh, sheds the S alongside the Q and it scores worse. But it is, I believe, the only way to get rid of the Q. So it's it's worth considering, but I would probably do memo. The other thing is, if you draw an eye, it's probably going to be pretty easy to play QIS next turn, and you have a pretty good shot at drawing an eye. And then he's playing mom. So I don't like this play, because usually when you have the Q, you want to get rid of everything you can that's not um, a U, because the Q works badly with anything that's not the uh, U. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think the thing about yeah that 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 is a concept that we uh, we tend to okay. try and follow oh, as much as possible. Josh, Josh has decided to take the points. Um, he could also play I nay 
uh, underneath Mom, which is uh, 21 points. Oh. He decides to score 30, but keeping two extra value. Yep. Under MLM. That's yep. a nice underlap. Yeah. Uh, How much more is this? I believe he scored nine extra points to uh, keep the extra fouls. So it's, uh, okay. it's definitely an interesting decision. So now uh, Matthew Tunnicliffe plays Kebs, which is the highest scoring option, um, but it does set up the uh, triple up there. So now right behind you, we've got some options. He can play Gory uh, on the triple. He can play Gora. He's going to play Gore to undouble the ease. Uh, Matthew Tunnicliffe's just going to play QI in just a sec. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to Yeah, so pretty slow start, right? It's a tie game right now. Um, yeah. Ton of Cliffs can get yep. rid of his cues. Oh, he's oh, going to take right. a good lead, but oh. now, yeah. Wow. Now AEI. Got, uh, and ceiling and lineages. Uh, AEI uh, turning into this. They don't, they don't play. Three vowels. Play. So he's probably going to hook the AW and make Gaw and play either leasing, ceiling, or lineages. And out of those, lineages scores, I believe, one more point because it doubles the G. Huh. But he plays ceiling. So now Matthew Tonicliffe has Hoyle, a top ceiling, which is probably the best play. That's weird. Do you think he missed lineages? It is 30. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe. It's a little, this is a little harder to work with. It's a little, because the vowels and consonants don't alternate. Um, so yeah, Matthew Tonicliffe has Hoyle for 36, a top ceiling. H-O-Y-L-E, yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But he's definitely behind now. He's down 40. Um, it's well, not I really mean, it's not really easy. that bad, but but yeah. I mean, uh, the sport is kind of tight. There's not much going on in it, right? So, so yeah, Josh's options. He can play Eid beneath QI for uh, 27. Yep. He can play Died, D-E-I-D. Uh, which keeps three vowels, but it scores more points. He can play Dude on top of Hoyle, which is yes, 20. Does. That's what it does. Okay. So now it looks like Matthew Tunnicliffe can play a couple different things. He can play Fixed beneath, beneath DOS and I, and he can also play Fixed um, beneath QI. Yeah, wouldn't you do that instead? Uh, which one What's scores score better? Difference? 21, 20, uh, it looks like it's two more points to play at beneath QI, and that's what he does. Uh, now we got Josh. He, I think Teppa. Teppa is a very nice fit above uh, Dude. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. There's 39 points, so I think I think he's going to do that. Yeah, T-E-P-A making E-D-P-U-H and A-D-O-S. The other nice thing about Teppa is it, uh, it kills the dose and eyed hooks beneath it because a D-O-S doesn't take hooks and it kills any chance of, like, ire coming on the board and then another bingo lane appearing. Yeah, so I think, and yeah, I mean, I think even, though, see... even though Josh isn't ahead... Um, it's basically well, a tempo take... game here. Yeah, he's, he's about, about to take to... the lead. It's it's about a tempo good. game here, but it's still important, I would say, in tempo games to like reduce possibilities of your opponent just opening things you, you can't do anything about. And so, it, it'll, yeah. it'll score 39, too. Yeah, yeah. That looks pretty good. He's going to have to find that. I don't know if there's That's... anything close to that. That's yeah, you got to know your four-letter he words. He can't score anything anywhere else. I mean, what is he going to play, Pieta and Fa? I mean, it's uh, it sheds one extra vowel, but it's 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 a 14-point sacrifice. It's not correct. So, he's, so he's you've been taking this long. Do you think he just hasn't spotted it yet? Yeah, he, he hasn't spotted it. Hmm. Uh, All right, and now it's now it's so close. I mean, we had the game was tied uh, earlier, and now it's a one point I, game. I think he Sorry, can go. What are you saying? I think it, Matthew Tonicliffe can go different routes between fishing and maybe scoring a little extra. Like he could play AA for ten. 
but he could also play, say, para. And for those that are new to describe, what is fishing? So fishing is when you play on very few tiles because the you have a good leaf. Like uh, the stuff you still have is very close to a bingo, but you just don't quite have it together on your rack. So he's gonna play Aya. So yeah, now, that makes sense. Uh, Josh has got lights and Stooley. Um, yeah, that makes sense. A, I like that play. Just not not putting all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, I mean it scores something. It's not quite as low scoring as AA, and uh, it's eighteen, so it's good. Yeah. Overlaps. Oh mo yeah, man, that's got, that's got huge. Over. I like when words are played that like are Scrabble words, but aren't actually referring to what's happening. An overlap yeah. is is something totally different. It's not playing through a letter, but yeah, here's overlap. So, oh wow, both blanks. Oh my god. Okay. Look at that thing. Super interesting. I don't, I don't know if he actually has anything. What if he um he might actually do better off playing one of the blanks off because he has two and. Like, he can play Bride underneath Toolies. Oh, B-R-I-D-E making D-O-B-O-R-I-I-D. Yeah, uh, I believe it scores 37. No, 38. It's, so, so it scores 38, and it, um, yeah, oh. Ovenberg. Oh, he found probably the only bingo there. Wow, what a nice find from the O of Let's Ovenbird. See. Matthew oh, that or over bids were both were both there. I, I, did I didn't even that. notice that that was a spot. So Matthew's a couple wow. of options. One one thing that might be interesting. So you can play Jip up top, G I P. Um, which scores probably the best in the immediate sense. Man, I'm just sorry. I'm still looking at Ovenbird. That's a really good find. Uh, yeah, and that's what he's going to do. So He's down nine with four in the bag. This is really bad, though. Uh, he does yeah, have the J. Maybe there's some chance. Ideal, but I, I bet he thinks that with the J, he can, he can... I mean, what if he hits, like, Juster or something? So, so do that S and Tulis. So you think that's where uh, Josh is going to want to wanna play, yeah? Yeah. Um, I think so. Uh, but the thing is, I think... I don't know if Josh can get the C on the triple letter and hit the double, so he might play. Oh, maybe he can like, play co star, but that doesn't work. But he can't yeah, yeah, yeah. play that because he can't do like that. Sure on the bottom. So I think yeah. he might actually play something like acro, or maybe he won't empty the bag and he'll play. Well, what something. about what about cuter or something? This is this is tough. Ah, like, you don't yeah, want to only be scoring twenty here. Bag. So he, if yeah. he doesn't want to empty the bag, his options are less scoring, but he's not emptying the bag. So he can play something like, I don't know, Cat, um, which is 17. But Oh, he has such a cool underlap of Quattro. C-U-A-T-R-O. Oh, that, that oh my different. goodness, that is so hard to find. Let's see if he sees it. Making Doc... O U L A I T E R S O. Oh my goodness! Yeah, there's nothing even close to that. That's just an insta win. Everything yeah. else probably uh, loses uh, yeah. in certain scenarios. Yeah, let's see if he oh, can wow. see Quattro. And then for those of you in the audience, there's some fun eights if different letters were on the boards. He could play Turncoat. He could play Nocturia with an I on the board, and he could play Turncoat with a T. He could play Courant and Outrance with an E. Yeah, no, so oh. this is the thing. I think in this position, Josh does want to be looking for underlaps under Tulis, right? That's the thing yeah. that's going to open the least amount of stuff for Matthew Tunnicliffe. But yeah, to to go all the way and see the six tile overlap or underlap, that's uh it's I gotta mean, be, you just found oven bird, hurt. but this is this is an extremely difficult find. I think he might wow. be better at finding bingos than finding uh finding overlaps like that. He did already miss Tep uh Yeah, yeah. Quattro making six six words. Okay, he finds Trona. 
That's probably, probably good enough. Probably enough to always win because he does at least block stuff like Juster. Yeah, but now he's left. I mean, he's left with pretty rough things. So Tonicliff can play Vine. No, I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, his options are pretty bad. He actually, have a ton of options now, so it works. He can play. He can't play, he can't play his J off with Jets. He could under. play the ins and leave himself with the two out plays. That's all I really see. It's it's not great, but it leaves him two outs. Uh, what is? And I don't know if uh, Josh can really wreck him on the triple. It looks like his best play might be Actually, EJ, EJIT. EJIT for 20, w. leaving oh, himself with NTH. And then two spots. Yeah, that might be better. Well, you I don't know have... if there are two spots. There's yeah, there are two spots. Plenty of spots. There's Fawn, there's Doth, there's In and Eat. There's Ren. Yeah, F A A N. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. EJ is. I mean, he's, uh, he's probably still going to lose by 10 to 20, but that, that is probably... I mean, I don't know if Josh's best play is. It might be Cough up top, C-A-U-F. It yeah, you can do that. I think even if he does, like, Fucus, yeah. F-U-C-U-S, I think that's good enough. Yep, that would work, too. I think, uh, so. yeah, I guess Egypt is the best we see right now. He's going to... Oh... That That's is cool. a fun try. And the other cool thing is that if Josh blocks by playing fun, he has the E hook. It's not gonna win, but it's it's a great try. So if you guys don't realize That's an the awesome option, play. A-I-N-N takes a back E hook. So he- Tithe. Uh, tithe is what you mean. Yeah, Tithe and Jin oh, and Tithe I'm sorry. and Ginny. He's tithe. He is tithe. So he's setting up Ginny and Tithe. And the cool thing is that Josh's best block is probably wow. to fun. Uh, and that sets up Tithe and Orf. So fun and Orf, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's an he, awesome. He doesn't game. have enough to win, but it, it is a uh, wait. Does Lout play it with Lout, and he's gonna? Oh my God, it's gonna tie. This oh. is a tie. Oh my God, this is a tie. Have we ever wow. seen a tie? Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> so wait, does does uh does does Josh have a way to win? I feel like he has to. Like, what if he plays Loaf, and then Matthew plays Tides? That swindle for half a point. That was I mean, incredible. I think I, we've got to we've got to look. I mean, uh, what happens if? So oh Josh had four twenty seven. So Loaf would score nine. So he'd have, and uh, Matthew at four oh two, right? So it's four forty. Like, I I don't even know what to say. Wow. Oh wait, I think Loaf also ties. If I did the math right. So it, what if he plays Orca? It can't even. I I don't know. Man. What if he What oh if he God. plays Orca? Does Orca <laughs> Orca is twelve? And then uh He's trying to analyze. I'm just like I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, I mean it's an impressive swindle for half the point. We like it. <laughs> that's just that's just so cool. Yeah, I did not see Jin coming. And I thought you I thought you were gonna play Orphe and I didn't see like Lout and Ginny. I'm I, like, oh. I put that on the board, I put Lout uh, no, I put Ty and Orphe on the board, and then I looked again <laughs> and saw what I was supposed to put. This this was not all planned out. I'm like, I'm just gonna play Jin and see what happens. I did not play this out of my head. I, is there like, was yeah? Does Orca win? I heard you mentioning that. Like, uh, does he play I, I was Tiff trying to look. And tell? I mean, his other thing is Tides and Ret, right? Yeah, that's twenty. Uh, this, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's more. Yeah. So it's twenty plus. Uh, so Orca's twelve. What does that get you to? Four thirty-four total. It's you. It gets you to four thirty-nine, right? And then uh, tied <laughs> is, uh, is twenty, and it gets fourteen off of Josh's rack. Yep. 
Okay, we have we have a comment. We have a comment from someone who put it in the engine. Apparently, playing or Orca, or Kerf, or Loaf will will win. Yeah, Kerf. Oh, That's, where does Kerf play? Just with CEO, uh, I guess. CEO. Oh, 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 is that is Is it just like Sal and Kerf up top? I guess. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that. Just uh, that's just enough. Yeah, twenty-two. Points. Yeah, I didn't. So I guess cough too. Oh man! All right, who's next? I I don't even. We're not going to be able to follow that game. That's like the coolest game I've seen in a long time. <laughs> oven bird. <laughs> nobody saw that. Like, well, there was. I was deciding between oven bird and overbids. I, I were fine. I, think. I just didn't even realize you could play something from that. Oh, like it's just so so weird. You don't usually like on configurations like those. You don't usually. You can't usually do something like that. <laughs> the fun fact that Greenway wants us to share is that Matthew Tunnicliffe has had as many oh, that's true. turn of play as he has in the last few minutes. Mm. Oh, Does look at all! Know? Wow, look at all this production! Oh my goodness! Yeah. All right, Castellano, your your win percentage. I need I to get know, that man. up. I need to get yeah. that up. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, no, to play against me fact. more. That'll help. We all fact. have more oh. games than our rating, except for Tunnicliffe. Yeah. Damn. Well, yeah, yeah that two was. You have a four twenty average. That's pretty nice. Exciting. Were there? I mean, what what were the other big misses that throughout the oh, game? Oh, you missed. Uh, you missed Teppa up top. Teppa. Oh yeah, Teppa. Yes. Yeah. That would be way way better. Teppa. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah. We liked so we liked playing memo instead of mom for you, Tony Cliff. Yeah, I liked playing Z E instead of Z A. Or should we say We Z? were debating uh I I nay under mom versus N E E to get rid of some vowels. Yeah, I yeah, I was it was between those two. A I N E E. Yep. How you and, yeah. That? Anyways. Oh Josh, we think you missed Quattro underneath Toolies instead of uh instead um... of Trona. Yeah, oh, Quattro. that was the big oh, miss. Yes. That was the big miss. That actually oh, cost that's a you huge the game. Miss. That's a huge yeah. miss. Yeah, that would that's, have been. That that's been so the hard there. to see. So, so 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 so. I hard. was I was looking at uh, a bunch of I think overlaps. With dude, with dude, we were considering I. Yeah, dude is fine. The, the other thing foul. is, I just wanted to, I, I wanted to ask you, Josh, before we start the game, it's going to be me and O'Connor. Um, lineages okay. instead of stealing. Did you, did you think of um, lineages? Oh no! I just like oh, okay. The G it's like, there, so clearly, it's better. I don't know. It scores an extra point. It's a little okay. easier to work with though, because the vowels and consonants alternate. So, That's oh, uh, yeah, O'Connor, we're gonna start our game. I okay. wanted to let you know we have to mute the uh, state, the yeah. the, uh, the production will, thing, and then, then we'll go ahead. Myself and uh... so yeah. Um, good luck to you, and have fun commentating. I hope. We can have an interesting game at least, but we're not going to be able to do better than what we just saw. I think yeah, right, that was a pretty good there. showcasing of your your abilities there. <laughs> My just, abilities just, to just, uh, just swindle the end game. I don't know. I just my my whenever I feel like I can't win, I'm like I'm just gonna give my opponent a chance to lose, do something to throw a curveball, that's, see what happens. That's a good idea. That's what you gotta yeah. do. All right, I like to go down fighting. Game game theory optimal is not the way. Man, Cuatro. I hope I would have seen that with more than a minute. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm a good uh, rapid player, to be honest. I, I tend to use all of my clock in tournament games. Had a yeah, number of turns tough. that game where I just played the first decent play that I saw. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, let's see. So I believe Matthew O'Connor's handle is... I believe he goes by 64-bit Scrabble. Is that correct? Or it might not. Oh, it's Tiensa. Sorry. No, it's, so 64-bit Scrabble is his Twitch handle. Tiensa would be... Okay, and here's the link. All right. And let's get started. Matthew O'Connor, I think opening with Heave is fine here. Yep. Which was not removed because it means a monetary unit of Botswana. 
I recently chickened out of this word in a tournament because yep. I, and, and, and Josh challenges, yeah. Yeah. In some yeah. alternate reality, this word is removed. Maybe it's um not removed in Collins only. It might have just been removed from NWL. I think it was just removed from NWL, which is I'm sure why Josh uh gave the challenge there. Mm -hmm. So in addition to the S, this word takes another hook. And I have to uh, I guess it would take Josh an N knows it. on the end and I guess a T on the front. Yes, yes. And I but wonder if place those here, are is, important. Is parls a word? It's something <laughs> I might a, talk myself into. This is a bingo rack. My my spidey sense is telling me there's a bingo here, and I think it's gotta be perils. I don't think it's Lara. I I, I, I feel like perils. that's the play. Is there someone yeah. in chat? So there's nothing the in cool chat. The cool thing about <laughs> commentating is we can just look this up. We don't we don't have to guess. I can just check. It's true. So but I, I believe a that is it a is word. a word. Yeah, I, I feel like it yeah. would have taken me a minute or two to talk myself into that. But that is a word. Odds are that Josh plays this one. I think the odds that he saw it immediately are very high and he is not debating it. There's no other reason for him to be spending a minute and a half on this turn. I think he, half, he sees the word and he's, he's like yeah. just racking his brain. Probably trying to agonizing. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you may have lost more equity than a phony. I don't know how the math works out in 10 minutes, no overtime. And there it is. He yep. goes for it. He's, so he's crossing his fingers quicker. right now. He's like, don't challenge, don't challenge. Or maybe he wants I mean, to challenge sure, five Matt, more points. Is Matt gonna, yeah, Matt gives Here's it a the five. points, yeah. I'd, I'd give it a five. Okay, and what's he got now? Like something like Wex under Heaves? Or does he need to play like Wax? Oh, Raxel? Raxel looks strong here. Ooh, Raxel. Down a bunch. That's a, does Raxel, that take an R an hook? Uh, ooh, I, oh, that's a good question. I'm going to well, say no. I don't think, I don't think so. It does, I think it's just yeah. a yes. Because it does mean a wrestler, I think, right? Or to yeah, wrestle. it means to wrestle. So it seems like it to would take wrestle. an R, but it does not. It does not. I know Raxel looks takes like the, the play S. here. Wex yeah, also sure. under Eves, maybe. What else is what else is going on here? Wex, okay, yeah, that seems reasonable. Keeping L I R T. Um, he's blocking his best through tile, which was the E, but he still has those A's and perils. So yeah, Raxel Raxel was the top static <clears throat> there, but Wex is also strong. A uh, bunch of vowels. These are the kinds of racks you can power through in columns. He's gonna have some sort of option here that's worth playing. Like you you know you oi <clears throat> maybe some i don't know where that goes there's like luau for five i don't know if that's worth it oh oh uh, okay I, I cheated and looked at the analyzer yep he finds the best play auto on go. top there that's a strong play mm -hmm. and now matt has this looks uh, like a bingo no, rack. it looks like it but i don't think there's anything you have mm. prolytic to the through the wow. P, but that didn't fit. And Sire was the best play, so that's good. And we have maybe this jury. Sure. Jury, yeah, get rid of that U. It's his worst letter. And the uh, the Y and the J. You want to get rid of those. So that mm -hmm. looks strong. Or oh, it's this J. Just can you just play you can't it's hard to use the hotspot. There are two hey hot, hot spots. I don't think you can cash yeah, you know, <laughs> With I the temptation is to like hold on to the J and see if you can make it work next turn, but no, you just you just get rid of it. Don't get bogged right, down. Yeah, you it. should. Yeah. So jury looks fine here. Um fiery there was actually the, the best play that was made. That's a okay. lot of points, yeah. You gotta look past playing off your J and U sometime and make them work next turn. Still, yep, and that's strong. It's uh, this happens to me all the time. I don't know if this happens to you when you're going over like old cross tables games. And you're sort of like, ah, maybe I'd play this. And then you see your past self make like some incredible <laughs> find. It's like, holy it's crap. Like, wow. How did I, see I used that? to be so good. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I guess it's just like the playing in playing in the game, something changes. Like you care. Yeah. More, well, you're, you're sharper you when you're playing the game. That's, okay. So yeah. I wasn't sure if Josh would know this word, quote. I'm pretty sure this is a Collins only, right? I think he's solid on the short Collins words, actually. I see him okay. make a lot of plays with power tile Collins. It's uh, more the bingos I feel like he, he is lacking the knowledge in. That one would be pretty important if you were to study short Collins words. Yeah. Uh, the quote is up there for sure. High playability. Does this rock bingo? Uh, it like... doesn't look like it. 
Hmm. So Matt probably burn a bit of time looking for a bingo. Okay, none, none. No, he's Matt burns time on nothing. He he plays. He's the the quickest player. <laughs> he just I know. plays. Yeah, he he okay, probably Chanto. saw right away. Oh, nothing plays. I'm just gonna make the first player I see. And now see. Tendron, both Tendron and Donner are words. But again, do they play? Both of those are words, right? I got that. Yeah, right. yeah. I think this is another homeless bingo for Matt. Again, frustrating. Something I would spend time on to like look. I guess you're gonna fish off what drone. Okay, that looks fine. Ooh, I wonder if that e hook is gonna get a challenge, or if Josh knows that. Oh, Pote. Pote. Oh, it's, I've lost track of what's Collins and what's not a long time ago. Mm. Uh, yes, Heidi. Uh, Portent is valid. Portent. I saw like a Entrepot through a E as well, but nothing was available. It seemed. Oh, that's how you pronounce that. You don't pronounce it Entrepot. Um, depends where you're from, I guess. I live in Canada. We pronounce our French words in a French manner. That's fair enough. And what, what is what do you do here? I guess like like us, Josh isn't seeing anything strong immediately. Mm. A Y maybe just alongside Parles. You keep you keep in mind it's a strong lead. Sure, sure, it's a boring play, but uh, it gets the job done. The only thing is you're, you're you're keeping bingo tiles. You're really leaning hard on the D and the R floating up top. Those are kind of your only. Solid yeah, lanes. that's true. Okay, so he does go ahead. Yeah, without those, I mean, those are pretty good with your, with your tiles. They're about there. to get blocked with a Hodge. Hodge, yeah, they're check. about to get blocked with Hodge. Oh, on base, even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that works even better. Amazon's so he's diamonds. Or just oh, target. diamonds fits down there. Um, is there anything better? Is diamonds the only bingo there? Am Amadines is the anagram that does not fit. Amadines doesn't fit. Let's see. Diamonds only bingo confirmed. Yeah, and that's not a play you're thrilled about making with uh, it's an air ball, misses the double word scores, puts an eye in a dangerous spot. Oh no, never mind, it doesn't. Still doesn't score as puts well the, as you Puts the N in a dangerous spot for the K, and Matt can play that's Matt true. here, which looks pretty emphatically the best play. Mm -hmm. I guess if you don't see that, it's, well, at least knit. At least you'd play knit, probably. Yeah, he's going to play giving, through that. Giving end, yourself a tick. Oh, mm. Interesting. I don't know. Floating the K there instead of just uh, taking out the triple word score. He's going for a triple triple, I guess. Through the K. And Josh yeah, is, is going to play uh, something. Look, these guys are trying to like upstage our last game that we played, so they're trying to make this exciting. They're trying to make it close. Yep, going for that triple triple. Ooh, this rock bingo's through an O, I think. Or an I, was, I mean, you know, an I, an I, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so now okay, play keys plays Kivas and now Surfiat um Fustier, yeah, somewhere. Okay, this is interesting. Josh doesn't have good tiles. He's gonna play like what would you even do here? I don't know. At this score, I would just turn over as many letters as possible. Maybe block the yep, R. Just, two blanks. You got to right. block that R. Oh, two blanks. blanks? Okay, yeah. So yeah turnover, I think, is key here with two blanks in scene. And these these floaters. On, oh, ninja, maybe. Oh, maybe you just play ninja, or do you leave it open? I mean, Jeez. ninja's a lot of points. <laughs> that's that's really tough. That's uh, that's maybe. tough. Yeah, I'm so scared of the two blanks with the R floating. You just instantly lose if he drew. A blank or two. Uh, the there. rest of the tiles, though, aren't great. True. A lot so of times maybe you cash fear. like three Gs, W V. I mean, though there's no R's out, so playing through the R is going to be very helpful. Ninja so goes a long way to outrunning bingos, which might be what he wants to do. Just this is definitely about... a play where I I take some time on. But yeah, as you said, <laughs> like Ninja runs a lot of stuff. Okay, so what does the analyzer say? Oh, onion next to unbased. Okay, no one is seeing that in a in a in a rapid game. Yeah, Anything more than three is... overlaps? You're looking at the R and the J. Those are just the big spots that That's your eyes drawn towards. No one's looking to parallel unbathed with onion. No one's looking. Yeah, I'm. I wouldn't. Um, wow. Yeah, what would you do here? I mean, 
I might, for for something as quick as rapid, I might just go with Ninja and be like, well, Ninja is it's easy play to make, and the outcome is gonna it's gonna come down to how well your opponent just drew after his bingo. So it's like if you, <laughs> yeah, if you block the R, maybe you have to like I don't know, play some like ridiculously drawn out end game or uh, something like that. Nin I mean, Ninja does block the D and the R there actually. So maybe mm -hmm. it's maybe it's okay in that sense. You're blocking more lanes. Okay, he he does go with Nooner. And there were two blanks on Matthew's rack, so I mean, he was in trouble either way. But I think he's in trouble. Because, yeah, yeah, and now divulged, and now it looks like it's game over. Unless, well, Matt can't go out. Can he make some crazy Z setup? The if problem is that Matt has do that, it's Josh. <laughs> more than half his time left. <laughs> Obviously, you know, has only spent three and a half minutes on the whole game. Yeah, something so tells he... me he's not going to use six minutes for his last three tiles. <laughs> Uh, what do you? I mean, so he has. Okay, well, this is interesting. He has Zip parallel the drone for forty-five. Okay. And what's forty-four? That would put him up one point. Actually, yeah. wait, is that? Feels wait, like that's might not be... enough. Couldn't this be really close? But Matt, I don't think Matt's going out. I don't know if he has to, because I don't think Josh is going out after Zip, is he? Uh oh, I guess not. Uh, Goaty, oh, oh, just barely doesn't fit through the T. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I, it needs to go out after Zit. It doesn't seem possible. Can he do something like, and I'm looking at the analyzer here because I don't. There's Zoe A parallel to Nooner, but leaving GII. Yeah, this looks tough. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, he might wow. be looking for something that's just not Zit. there. Okay. I mean, yeah, Zit, that's his best shot. Um, wig. Okay. And then I think, yeah, so yeah, Josh can't go out here. And I think that that's the, the, the nail in the coffin. Yeah, Josh needs too many points this turn. And I don't think it's someone there. Someone correcting me saying Godi isn't good. Thank you. Thank you, Emma, mm -hmm. for pointing that out. <laughs> Yeah, it's for the Y. 14 and Domino IE. for asking if it's good in Collins. I thought it was. I thought it was IE. It is not. So only Goaties. I I may have tried it. Goes goes Gosh, to show what I know. Kobe. Yeah, it doesn't quite get close enough. That's still a really tight game. Uh oh, by one point. Is that <laughs> okay, right? That was Am closer I reading than that right? Thought. <laughs> There's a one point game? Was it? Wait, really? So what, what happened here? It didn't seem that close, but. Uh, it didn't, like, yeah, Gobi looks like the best play here. 458, and then I won 458 to 457. Uh, I think so, yeah. Isn't that what happened? So we both scored a 458. <laughs> so Josh is the only person who hasn't scored 458, and he scored 457. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sick. Nooner is a great word. You know what that means? I would love to hear about uh, what something, that means. It's, I it's think a free it's... sexual encounter held during lunch break. That's <laughs> right. I knew it was some innuendo or something like it's, that. It's, it's like a quick, uh, it's a quick uh, sneak sneak out at lunch to have some fun. For for that play, we were thinking about um, something like ninja instead, and just being like, give up. Instead of uh, instead of playing like blocking the R, but we're we're not sure. That yeah, was really obviously out there. Honestly, super pivotal honestly, position. I, I was playing fast, but I think delving is probably better than divulge because I think it actually scores the same. Delving. Those were your two options. It scores the same. Uh, it is it's a little bit harder to work down there. A little bit. All right, yeah. I am. I am so happy with the content we're providing right now. Oh my yeah. god! What? Hey, this is uh, this is for you. Learn the Collins fours because I just won by one and he challenged one. So, oh Obviously, right, yeah, we're no. remarking. 
<laughs> That's well, not a Collins four. No, it's it's just, a Collins four in it's... this day and age of political correctness. I Collins mean, you guys know why I challenged that, right? That yeah, we were discussing. NWL. We were discussing <laughs> that. We were pretty sure it was removed. So there you go. So it looks like the Collins fours. Don't be like Josh. Don't challenge one and lose by one. Well, well, listen. Yeah, wasn't the... Perils challenged as well? Didn't the, the nickel come back on that play? Thank you. He didn't lose by one though, so he's fine. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't lose by one. So that's true. You were allowed to challenge. Fourteen you, Domino is saying Josh has no win. That was the optimal end game. Okay, so pretty well played. Pretty well played. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see Ninja. I might have done that. That's pretty good. Yeah. I think. I mean, it's just like, like a. The more points you score, the less often you lose by one. If I bingo, right? <laughs> that I mean it checks out for me. Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, so you guys have to tell 18, people to subscribe. I mean, how can Ninja how can you not subscribe? Sorry. I'm Ninja, oh yes. Anyone who's watching. If you want more content, subscribe. I, I it shows I don't you know, appreciate like, us in the channel. And I think you're not going to get games like this. Is, isn't it a little harder for me to go out if I bingo and draw four tiles? Uh, right, if you did I, what? Isn't whatever, it a little harder whatever. to go out if I Who's bingo next? and draw four tiles? <laughs> I think Ninja well, is just yeah. hope, hoping against hope that you don't have a bingo, which means, you know, please don't have both blanks on your rack. Oh. When we saw both blanks, we thought I, it was game I feel like it's to... more likely to win if I bingo, because then uh. he's only down, um, like, 20-something in the end game. I feel like that might be possible with the Z and stuff. I don't yeah, know. Ninja's attempting to outrun a bingo, and it almost worked. All right. Would have worked Next, if did it. Josh versus Josh with Matthew and oh, Matthew. All right. Well, here we awesome. go. I have to play Scrabble again after that? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you do. All right. Well, let's see if we can uh, get another uh, 458 score. That would be interesting. Yeah. Well, let's get Josh to 458. He's the only one that hasn't gotten. <laughs> so. Yeah, Josh currently in last place with an 0 and 1 minus 1 record. Um, yeah. Let's see if you can improve on that here. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, for my money, both of these Joshes are among the best Josh Scrabble players I know. So, yeah. For a treat. I don't know which other Josh's there are that are up there. It's definitely well, these two. Our, right. our producer is also a, an accomplished player. We got Veggie. Is that? I like Vo Vogi. Vogi, Vogi. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's playing Wolf. Or Wolf. Yeah, get rid of the uh, W. Yeah. One of those old, Some people uh, love keeping old G's. Short versus long, the age old debate. Uh, and he goes with short this time. And for those of you that don't know, basically opening short means. You don't touch the double letter and opening long, you do. And basically the difference is opening long tends to score a little bit more. Opening short tends to not set up as much. So there's a lot, you're, you're going to run into a lot of opening rack situations where it's a close call. And this time he went for short, but I think we both like the long one better. So Josh yeah. is going to play arrow bat. He had plenty of options, arrow, sat, and caveator and all that good stuff um this is not a good rack to be losing yeah, with. I, he's gonna find something i'm gonna play g, 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 g three Gear? i want to play huge huge somewhere e u g e yeah. is a word i, I, play I some think few i would spots. just suck, suck it up and play something like gear uh underneath aerobat just because i feel like you have okay. to try to that spot and it scores G-E-R-E. -E. Scores yeah. a few points, consumes it's the one, I mean, twenty-five. It's it's not the worst play no. ever. It's twenty-five and it it blocks the one big spot on the board. I think I think I would uh I think I would do gear. You can also do huge making uh A W E it and that sort of obstructs huge. that spot. Similar the only thing is, I think this might be a little easier to play on top of. Like this time, Josh will have. Um, I guess he doesn't have as much. He can play Ute. He's got the word Welk. Oh, well. Oh, that yeah. plays for a lot. Nice. Never mind. That is that is better. Um, 
We can play Yum on top of uh, Aerobat, Ume. It's a Japanese uh, melon or squash or something. An Ume. Is it a peach? Oh, you know what it is? It's short for the Umaboshi plum. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. Umaboshi. Yeah. Also a valid eight letter word. The word. One of the. There's an episode of a show called Dinner Impossible where he cooks for these spelling bee champs and they only food. He has to cook with a food that starts with every letter of the alphabet, and Umaboshi is the only thing he can find that starts with a U. Uh, let's see. Would you exchange? What about greed and go debt? That is probably the only option that's not an exchange. Sorry, what is the play you're seeing? Greed. greed oh, greed and go debt. And go debt. Nice. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, I would probably still exchange, but if you're not, yeah, I don't. I don't like keeping all those consonants, and they're they're consonants that don't even work well together. Yeah. So your prospects. These are the viewers. These are what's known as hard consonants. They they tend to be the second consonant in the uh, in diphthongs, and then. They tend to really, really hate each other too. They're yeah, no partners. synergy between those letters. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna exchange. So we still have not seen any of the six ends, and as soon as we, we got, see one, I assume it's yeah. gonna hook onto wove. As soon as we see an end, someone's gonna play something with woven. Yeah, but at this point, we're gonna see maybe da and hawk and ab. I don't know. 29 points doesn't open anything it's it's Jeez, hard to do anything without an n it's the leave isn't that good but it's hard to, for josh to do much without an n which is which is definitely an advantage but he's going to play hewer <clears throat> uh you got oh, wow. waiting for that to come down. look what he blocked trapezii wow Wow. That's got to be frustrating if you're Josh yeah, Sokol. that is... Wow. He blocked a dagger. So Josh I'm not sure how many he exchanged there. He, it looks like he exchanged down to just a T. He may have even exchanged them all if he drew a T. If he was digging through oh, an N. We got durians now. Well, jo is, that, is that another exotic fruit? It is another exotic fruit. Hmm. Uh, what do we got here? My instinct is to try to play through that U and get one of those big tiles I, on the... I see, well, I see Gap and Ab and Hawk, which probably keeps the best leave out of plays that score something. How much value would you put in blocking those uh, tiles up top? Oh, uh, what's... I, I think it's worth something. Uh, would you like him to play C A U R I? I mean, that blocks up top, but the leave is terrible. Yeah, and I also saw like Pruta, P R U T A, similar uh, yeah. blocks up top. I, mean, I, would rather, I don't know. It's C A U R I is a bit harder to work with Pruta, but I think I mean Gap scores the same. I, th I think it also scores or it scores close to the same. It scores twenty seven, and it also keeps a way better leave. So I would probably do Gap. Yeah, the G is the problem tile on this rack. It has poor synergy with the C and the and T the and, and, the, and P. the P. Does he have something so. on the D? Like, uh, I don't know, acrid, I guess, is the best thing, but it runs into the same issues as the other plays up top. Is there like something like caprid or something? I don't think that's a word, but something through the D that uses a bunch of those heavy consonants. Yeah, I think, I think you just have to play um, Gap and Go and Dab and Talk. I don't, I think, I, I mean, I just, it's not, leaving it open for one turn is not the end of the world, and the leave is just so much better. Because mm -hmm. uh, Gap is the only way to get rid of the G and the P, which don't work well with the rest of the rack. So, yeah, exactly. uh, yeah if, I were, if I were Josh, I would definitely play Gap. And it's not really intuitive to look in that spot of the board when yeah. the D and the well, U are floating up I, there. What I will say is that the word awk takes eight front hooks. So um, if you ever see that on the board, you should look for the hooks because it takes B, C, D, G, H, L, M, and P. So 
if you do see the word awk on the board, it is and it and it's ten points in and of its own, so it's it's got a yield high scoring place or at least decent. So I would nece- I wouldn't necessarily say it's counterintuitive because when I see the word awk, I look for the hooks and stuff. That's true, but he is spending his time on something. So yeah, well, and he plays tag. Oh, yeah. well, he probably didn't know uh, hawk. Maybe is hawk a Collins word? It might be. I can't remember. I don't know. I think it might be. So. Okay. Now Josh has the uh, Q, so he's probably going to... Sorry, Castellano has the Q. He's, he's going to use that U up top. Uh, that U. Quad or queen? Queen. Uh, I would probably do quad because I don't love slotting the N up there. Um, Bonk, B-A-N-Q-U-E. <laughs> what else? Quad is fine. Uh, uh, Not as exciting as Queen, but it gets rid of the Q. Oh, no. Um, What do we got here? Can he play something with Chin? He doesn't have a lot of options here. I don't. He could. I'm pretty sure his only play. Oh, wait. Surrey. C I R R I. Siri. Never mind. That, yeah. that is the play. That is the play. Definitely it's underlapping the Q is where my eye is drawn. So he, yeah, he's looking in the same spot. spot. He's trying to make something um, work. Any, any five there series. So for those of you that don't know, it's the plural of series <clears throat> clouds. It's not going to take an S. Just so y'all know. Um, and now Josh has one of those annoyingly close racks to bingo. So he's and left with Siri... a couple of not so great options. Siri kind of like really shuts down this board. It yeah, blocks the S hook on quad. Doesn't give back up, anything. Guy doesn't take a front hook. Does ups take a Y hook in the back? Is upsy good? I feel like it is. I don't think so. Maybe I'm making that up. Um, but yeah, Josh does not have a lot of good. Sorry, Castellano doesn't have a ton of good ops. At this point, he's down seven, so the game is very close. But there's really nothing to do with his tiles. Um, so because there's really truly nothing to do, he is gonna have to start thinking about scoring decently and playing off the S. Yeah, you can't afford to get bogged down trying to make a bingo rack work on a board yeah, like this. This is a good board to bingo. So he's gonna play B. One thing to note is if he played nose under Gox, it would score twenty five. Uh it's probably not quite enough, but he's gonna wanna think about things like that because the board is so dead. And there's no good S hooks, so that is that is going to be something to to think about at this stage in the game. The S will get some points with the Gox or Hewer's hook. Um, yeah, you don't want to rely on it as a bingo because it doesn't really. And fit. also, that's not really a good S hook for Hewer because it uh it doesn't allow you to end in an S, so it's not it's it it it, it basically his S has been significantly downgraded because of what the board looks like, which is why something like Nose might be worth considering. So here, is definitely... Josh, Josh is back in the same. Sorry, Sokol is back in the same position without a ton of good options because the board is still like that. Like the best thing that jumps out to me is Jot and Thin, which is only seventeen points, and Aleve is pretty bad. Um, I think that yeah, I think I would probably do Jot and Thin. There's really not a good a lot of good options. Um, but it has the advantage because out of all the plays that go there, that one doesn't set up front hooks and it doesn't set up bingos because nothing ends in J. Yeah, the tighter the board is, the worse the J becomes because it likes having scoring opportunities. If he doesn't get rid of that J now, he's going to be stuck with it a long and, time. Yeah, here's here's uh, one of the issues with Castellano's play. He just uh, he just drew a bingo rack and it doesn't go anywhere. Mm. So one of the things I, I would probably play Dosai underneath Welk because it's um I think it scores thirty ish. Yeah. yeah, he's got three different seven hundred words on his rack. None of them fit. It scores twenty eight and it keeps the end, which is really the best he's going to be able to hope for on a board like this. But I don't think Josh likes making plays like that. So I think he's actually going to end up playing something like Do somewhere. But I, I in uh, in his shoes, I would definitely want to play Dosai because of uh, the way the board looks and the fact that the S is going to be significantly downgraded on a board like this. 
And he doesn't need to uh, to get a bingo anytime soon. Like it's a yep. close game. Don't side puts him in a good position. There's no blanks. So yeah, I would definitely do Dosai um underneath Welk. It's definitely a turn you want to spend some time on because if there's yeah. a chance to open up a bingo lane, then it's worth playing. Yeah, I mean I don't, I don't really you see can, anything so great. Something like D O underneath Welk, it does open up the L O S book. The issue is more that I don't know how many of those bingos with AEIM start with us, and I also don't know how great his options are if he doesn't bingo. Whereas, and he plays Dose. Yeah, I I don't I don't know. I think he's probably thinking that it sets up a better lane for his tiles. I don't like it. Dose I has a much better leave, but. He kept AIN. I don't think his odds yeah. of hitting a seven letter bingo are very good. I, I don't like it. I like Dosa. Even Dosa is much better. Um, All right, so meanwhile, Sokol, Fico? still pretty much a tie game. Oh, Fico, Foci. Oh, well, there's his bingo. He's got Latinos he and Italians, and then he has Elations over there. Uh. This rack almost bingos. He bingos through a lot of letters on the board, yeah. but none of them are available. <clears throat> However, Sokol is now in a position of needing to bingo, so he, he can't uh, delay yeah. setting up some bingo lanes too long. Yeah, so he's down 65, so he's definitely thinking about bingoing. He's also thinking about making sure he wins after he gets the bingo down. You don't want to fish for three points and draw a 60-point bingo. You will still you will still fall behind. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna see him probably make a play like Pet, which scores twenty five. Pet is gonna be next to Elations, and it's gonna score twenty five, which is necessary if you want to win after the bingo. He could be more fifty and keep ENST by playing something like Pet or, or Nep. Maybe he'll play Nep. I don't know. I was thinking Nep because the keeping the double N on your rack is a uh, pretty terrible good, to try and yeah. bingo with. Maybe so, he will play. Ooh. Interesting. This He's is not keep the, the double end. Scoring. But here's the thing. This is not the highest scoring play for PE. He could have played PE with Zap and Thion and scored better. Yeah. Hmm. His eyes were drawn to the uh, the triple letter score, I yeah. guess. Well, it's looking, but, it's looking pretty uh, not great for the Sokol now. Um, fortunately, he got untoned. Is that a word? Yes, that it looks is good to me. Yeah, okay. untold, unnoted. I'm pretty sure is a pair. So now we've Ladinos got... makes the solid moot point. That is a uh, what Josh Castellano needed to sew up this game. Yeah, unfortunately for for Josh Sokol, it's it's uh, it's hopeless now. He's probably gonna play. You can still try to get a bingo down just for, you know, pride. Yeah, I mean, he's probably a place like, like if he plays Bay, it takes a it takes a back E and a back S, so he can probably it's hit a, a bingo. B -A -T, uh, B -A -Y -T, I think is good as well. B-A-Y, so. sorry, yes, it takes E-S-T, and he has all of those. So that's probably what we're going for. Uh, yeah. Don't forget, Josh is trying to hit uh, four fifty-eight. That's the the standard we've yeah. set for scoring. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough this time. In by that sets up an E back hook. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, well that was just oh, uh, unnecessary. In, in, uh, in Castellanos' direction. Egalite. <laughs> Now Josh will dink the Y for whatever he can, and, and he will win by about 180. Wow, that that game swung in, in Castellano's direction. It was a good game. It was a very tactical, yeah. tight board, and then it just blew open yeah. for but, Castellano. But, but who knows?
So what were the interesting plays that are worth discussing? Yeah, here? Uh, Latinos, was, um, Latinos, really? Uh, <laughs> Latinos, Latinos. Uh, let's see. We were discussing. We liked when. Oh, Josh so unkind. Dose, we liked Dosai. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yep. way better. Um, yeah. When, uh, when Sokol played tag, we preferred Gap. Huh, yeah, so P-A-W-K, -P Pock is a word yeah. in Collins, yeah. and that was available there. I don't know. What else? It was an interesting uh, dark forest for the first half, and then yeah. not that in the second half. Zip. We liked Zip. That was crazy. You blocked. Oh, we didn't actually like Cure, even though you uh, you managed to avoid the disaster. <laughs> yeah, you so, blocked yeah, what, I, I I have no idea what am I supposed to feel like raw on top or like dirty. Yeah, or, like, we we like raw. Or... We like raw. Ugh, or sorry, not raw. <laughs> da. Either of those. Um, Wait. Well, you can play raw is, with R O N E. Is that um, word? No, sorry. Is that there? Word. Was that was that there at the time? I thought it was just the. I'm getting. No, I might be confusing myself. Wrong, oh, okay. Then the, the, the I'm yeah. mistaken. Okay, then raw. I probably should have played raw there. That seems yeah, fine. Raw or thought, I mean, it just scores so much better, and it's pretty hard to work. Yeah. Or no, what, sorry, what? no. It's just the O, so it's da. It's sorry, just the O. It's da. Yeah. We, okay. We, we I, I remember. I remember looking at I R R U and I'm like, I don't, I don't want to yeah. deal with it's, that. What I mean, it's, massive yeah. bingo did I block? Trap easy eye. Ooh. Yeah. Well, uh, therefore oh, it we was the best like, play. We didn't know about B E just because of the fact that there's nowhere to bingo. I have, I have, I have no, what am I supposed to do? Like, just yeah, open it up? I don't know, but we That's were such we a were, difficult. We were not sure oh. we were considering plays using the S. Uh, All right. Josh put me in such All a right, tough guys. spot there. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's do a separate uh, over an analysis broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Interesting. Uh, so we just had the Josh's face each other. I'm super tilted. That's why I'm being mean to you guys right now. Uh, yeah, well, and now we have the mats. The mats. Okay. And Josh, I have to commentate with, play. with this dude that just embarrassed me. Yeah, the the bag <laughs> embarrassed you. Don't. What is your What is your username, Matthew? It is the muffin, muffin with underscore with underscore oh. tentacle. Okay. So, do you guys know right. people from Ottawa like to anagram their names and call themselves that? Like, I I never I heard of that until until I, I didn't know that was a an Ottawa thing. Who else? Yeah. Can you give other yeah. examples? Heidi. Heidi Robertson in chat. She's streaming on Twitch now with uh, Heroin to Birds as her username. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's it. That's all the samples I have for you guys. All right. No other so, examples. what do we got here? Let's see. We got the game. Uh, wait. Okay. So, ooh, okay. I actually, Tim played this against me yesterday in the tournament. Yep, wait. I was going to say that looks strong there. Uh, it, it looks pretty heavy, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, if you know the definition, it just means to wait. Thank know. you. <clears throat> Thank you, Spencer. Vadi. Vadi looked good there. Uh, I thought you were thanking someone for subscribing. I'm like, well, who do you, who's, how do you find who's subscribing? You get a subscriber live count. Have people have people been subscribing to the channel? I know like people are probably leaving now. The Scrabble's gotten a lot more boring since a tie in a one point game. But before you go, <laughs> subscribe to Let's Play Scrabble for more. And also Rubos would be really cool. Rubos. Does that fit? It doesn't fit. Looks Rubos. like we just have Arboreos. Ooh, caribous. Oh, more more food like words. Some some interesting options. Yeah, so all right, um, so you just gotta find the bingos. That's all there is. I wanted I wanted to talk about Lake George. Lake George is happening in one month. It's coming and up. And we're both going to Lake George. It's the biggest tournament uh outside of the uh the national tournaments in the summer. And it's coming right. up soon. Beautiful Lake George, New York. 
Uh, and for the first time, there's going to be a stream right here on this channel. So uh, yeah, if, uh, if you guys are ready for that, I don't know if you're ready for that. Like we, we get streams at like national tournaments to have a tournament like Lake George stream. It's going to be kind of weird, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome though. It'll be really cool. And they've, I mean, they've done it before for uh, an event like Kingston. So there's experience. They know what they're doing. Yeah, but that's so also a championship, time. you know, like this is a 15 game tournament. Like nobody. Okay. So we see robotics. All right. So and we see robotics. There, this is the play. Of caribous um, through the A. Probably. That's probably better. Yeah. Like, okay. So is, I can never remember if this was removed or not. It was, his papal eyes removed. He has applies and lappies on his rack right now. Okay, and he just plays applies there, which is probably probably just fine. Okay, papal eyes is still in there. That would have been a double double. Okay. Um, a lot papal of the papal eyes. stuff, like papisher, was removed. There are some papal yeah. words that were removed and some that weren't. So it, it's very difficult to say. Like, oh yeah, was that in there or something? Oh, it's too bad. Converso um, didn't fit through that R. Yeah, Cove comes Ooh. down. And missing uh down. Oh, look wait. at this rack. Oh my god. Wait, isn't that a am I missing something? Where's the hold on? What? Uh uh is it hold on. Yarzit? Or am I not am I not seeing this correctly? Yeah, I mean that works with the the Y's in the wrong spot. Yark's oh, it's one aren't over. You, That's why. Aren't you Jewish? What is the Yarzit? I don't know. What is Yarzit? Even without that, Yarzit. It's how you you got to pronounce it so you can spell it. <laughs> Zither, looking oh, strong. Oh wow! Oh my God! Appleus changing applies to Appleus. Yep, Appleus. I did not think think of that. That is uh, yeah, a plier. Wow. A plier is an applier. It's Applier. Yeah, those were the strong plays. Ritz would have also played there for a lot. Zither is quite similar. Um, and now a tough spot here for Matthew O'Connor as he has two U's and wow. doesn't have any Aplius hooks. And he's down by about Ap 68 what do you mean, points hooks? or something. He, there's no more applies to put a T on, and he doesn't have a T, so he's very sad. No, well... Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's uh, you. You. I don't know how you think about Scrabble, man. Okay. It's a mystery to me too. <clears throat> so, Josh, tell me so, a little bit of history. These are two Matthews, right? So, what is the difference they are two between Matthews. these people? I mean, because they have the same name. Um, like, that's a good. They're question. different people. They're different people. Well, they're both named Matt, and they both play Scrabble, so they're basically the same, right? One is Canadian and one's American, so there's a big difference. Um, okay. That's one of them. What else is there? That's pretty much it. One plays very fast and uh, is very strategic, and one knows probably a few more words, I would say. Um, but both quite evenly matched. And Matt here is looking to get rid of at least one U, I think. Oh, that's a good sure. suggestion in the chat of Luau. A good way to do LMS. that. We're seeing Luau's a suggestion the of... LMS. Yeah, that's cool. Luau's keeping R-O-N-D. That's for 10. I'd want to try and score a little more, but you do get rid of your two U's. Well, maybe that's something crazy. like round, Rounger. You've only found like one difference between the two Matthews. That's like... Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, that's confusion... <laughs> That's so much confusion. Like, I was hoping you would come up with something so people can actually differentiate between them. I mean, Canadian, okay. That That is a big difference. Yeah. Canadian Look, they got even got the flags next to their names. What are the differences between the two of us? What is the first one is like, what, Ooh. three, four years? Three years? That's a difference. Yeah. yeah I don't I'm, know. I mean, I'm a lot younger playing... than Josh at heart, though. <laughs> On Team Canada? Okay. He's playing Unao, and where are the bingos here? Mateage, probably. Yep. Wow. There it is. Matthew Tonicliffe sees it. Double double, and Matthew O'Connor should play Ergotic here, at the very least. That is uh, that is really cool. Mateage. Gives it a challenge, and then plays Ergotic. Okay, so those plays looking fairly straightforward. Again, here with Jag, 
I think you should just play this. Oh yeah, Jay. So he had some tough choices here. And now like what, three turns in a row? Is J A G G missable though? J A G G, I would say no. I would be fairly surprised. I'm actually a little surprised Matthew Tonaclev hasn't seen this yet. Um, yeah, Tony is, it, is definitely older than than O'Connor by like pretty much pretty much an insta play by 15, 15 uh, Heidi years? Robertson asks, "Is O'Connor more computer like in his play?" I would say the opposite. Um, Matthew O'Connor tends to not play like Quackle, uh, you know, burning blanks for like ten points or five points or something, um, doing stuff Who's like quackle? board exhaustion. Who's Quackle? Who's yeah. Uh I, I mean if I I mean who is Quackle? I mean I, I have no I have no idea. Quackle is, is uh, the, basically the engine that top players use to uh analyze their games. So that is our computer our computer comparison. Um but yeah, I, I, I think stylistically, yeah. It's it's funny to see Matthew O'Connor play like ten minute games because that's basically the way he plays in twenty five minutes as well. Like he just uses ten minutes of his clock and the game is over. So it, it's it's kind of like it's interesting because this is on one hand this is like his home, this is what he's comfortable with. But on the other hand, like it's a whole different story for somebody else to be playing fast as well. He's not used to it. So it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting. They kind of act the same. Oh my god, what is this? What is this disparaging in the comments section? They act the same age. Everybody in Scrabble acts the same age. We're like a big community. We love each other. It's such a, it's such a great thing. We actually don't care how old everyone is. It, it's like there's no, there's no difference. Like so, if, I don't know. If we're talking about age as a comparison, that's not really. We don't really care about that. We we love each other. It's a great community. Wouldn't you agree? Scrabble is timeless and ageless, and I agree a hundred percent. Don't you agree, shorter, younger, Josh? I do agree. <laughs> yeah, like I said, okay, yeah. Jag is missable. I was going to say, like, missable. if he doesn't see Jag, I guess you play Bungie, and now Matt is going to play... Oh, almost four, four held, no, nothing, right? Nothing for nothing for freehold or four held. Isn't... Oh, no, four hold. Four held was... Four hold. Or, sorry, four... Four hold was available through the O. That's what I meant, four hold. I don't know why I said yeah, four, four held. hold. Wow. Four hold through the O. That's a big okay. Two big misses in a row. But um, yeah, these still these guys would still. Oh uh, wait a minute! Apparently, wait is that is that not a word? Is I'm four hold not now. a word? I would have um, I would have played it for sure. It looks like it might not be a word. Am I mistaken? Are you, check, are you checking it? Are we it's both not mistaken? a word. I checked it. Ooh. We are both mistaken. I would. Oh, have of course, it's not a word. That word. Of course, it's not a word. It's because yeah, no. For held is freehold. We know that freehold. Yes. So we I know that for held is freehold. So we know that for and hold, it didn't unless occur to me. Like, unless yeah. for hold is a noun, for held can't be a word. Okay. Hopefully, Matthew Tonicliff doesn't miss Wainage here. This is another key play. Parallel to play fleet it? would be a, parallel to fleet probably. Double the g, double the word. This would this would end the game. Oh, he plays it there. In, is that better? It might be. It's I don't the know. Same. It's the same score. Looks like that's game ending, especially when Matthew Connor has no vowels. So he redeems himself by finding Wainage here. Oh, Kai, for ooh, but cleverly for cleverly setting up his S, unfortunately oh giving god. Matthew Tunnicliff keen was. Oh my god. Okay, I don't feel so bad anymore about our game. Ooh. Oh no! My and he had coquinas from the sea. If that wasn't played, oh my he had goodness! Co wow. Gave him another oh, spot, dude. What is happening? Quinn, Quinn, Quinn correctly pointing out that four hold isn't real. It's just free hold and no four holds. Yep. We have learned. We we are we are uh, harder, better, faster, stronger. It, oh, we see. It got both. Oh of us. my okay. god. And now drawing Snarler. 638. 638. Does Snarler even fit anywhere? Oh, that's no, cool. I, I think I think 
Tunnicliffe's going to get another play, and he's going to have like 650, 660. Holy mackerel. Oof. That is a very where, high score. Where did it go all wrong? My goodness. Wow. I don't know. Wow. I guess it went all right after missing Jack. That was like you play Bungie, that, you bingo with Queenage. That's so crazy. Meanwhile, so people, that's the thing. So, okay, this is going to be higher than 650, right? Total score. Like that is one in like many, many, many hundreds that you score that Sounds much, right. at, even at this level. But what's funny is that people assume when somebody scores this highly that they've made every single correct play which is usually not the case. It's really just like random timing that, that causes these extremely high scores to occur. Um, so it's, it's really interesting. Like every time I've scored over 600, I've not played, like I've played just about as well as I normally play. I, I, how about you, Josh? Does that happen to you? Like it, it doesn't um, seem to be like yeah, the best thing. When I get 600s, they're, they appear to me to be totally random as opposed to because I played well. I usually still make a mistake or two with those kinds of games. Wow. All right. So 654. Six Holy <laughs> mackerel. Well, if you don't like uh, that, you don't like Let's Play Scrabble, Scrabble Skirmishes. Sorry, I was trying to do my NBA announcer thing. I know that guy doesn't announce anymore, but that was that was a pretty good line that he would say like oh my game. god damn six six sorry. four yeah. sorry well, sorry sorry about that so a lot of uh, those plays Canadian. were just like bingos and it's like yeah. well those were the best plays <laughs> i'm pretty sure all of my still... non-bingo plays were not the best plays <laughs> Like as soon as I played Zither, I'm like, why didn't I play Ritz in the same spot? Ritz was a few more, but the the big miss for you was um, uh, Jag instead of Bungie. Oh, G A. I had Jag. I'm like, why don't I have another A for Jag? So so no, but this is the thing. Like 20 seconds into that turn, it was funny. I asked Josh. I'm like, do you think Jag is missable? Because I thought you were probably not seeing it. And Josh was like, no, no, no. Where is that? Definitely a missable four letter word. J G G to I can, the G. I can make any play missable. Just I have that ability to uh, miss anything yeah. I want. Immediate apology is right. Man. <laughs> okay. Guys, I don't I think this has been the best skirmish so far. A yeah. tie, a one point game, a six hundred fifty four point game. Like well, I guess this? we'll need to uh we'll need to get a seven hundred before the end of the day. A seven hundred. Like what? What more do you want? Oh my god! Like a six. Are you pass, not entertained? Ooh, yeah. Let's do a six pass. Yeah, a six awesome. pass. What is a six yeah. pass? You guys have to explain these concepts. Uh, so it's in, YouTube. In the rules of Scrabble, if you have six consecutive scores of zero, either passes or exchanges, um, the game automatically ends, and it's it was and originally Matt. meant. It was, it was originally meant as just a way to. Um, make sure that the game can theoretically end in a spot where neither player has a legal move, but it, it, it's led to some weird positions where you're actually supposed to go for it at the beginning of the game. So it, it happens occasionally. In fact, it happened to me most recently at the World Championship. So it can happen at the highest level. And um, what happens if you make a zero-point play with a tile? Or uh, I don't know, Josh. You coded the site. Well, <laughs> that is a good point. For this site, I believe it doesn't count as a six pass. But for I for think, I think for over the board North they American play said passes and exchanges. This and is this is way too to dang. Zero point plays. <laughs> I, I believe, I believe point I made it a zero point play will reset the counter for six. Yeah, but a challenged off pony does not. That's part of the passes that's part of it for sure mm. you should factor that we in. uh we are we are total nerds yeah um no great game okay so the next game is going to be um castellano and o'connor before that uh, i would like to mention there's going to be a new video uh, released on this channel so not only does this channel live stream these awesome skirmishes and live tournaments uh, but let's play scrabble um 
also releases videos of, of matchups that occurred. Uh, so this one, uh, I don't know if anybody can recognize the two people, two beautiful people in this thumbnail, but this is a thumbnail of the video that's going to be released, I think, right after this stream is ending. Um, and we have a position. This is uh, after three moves. This is a position that was uh, was found or was uh, occurring in the game. So this game was between uh, Joel Sherman and Jackson Smiley. Um, is that like, is his shirt inside out, by the way? And and backwards? Like, what is that? Do you guys see like Jackson's that, shirt? It? Yeah, sometimes we do that. I mean, you it's know, weird. nobody Josh, really cares, right? Take a picture of me at the urinal, and then he explained that it was to get the, like, piece of me out and put it <laughs> whoa, on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. let's forget that, that, that conversation. <laughs> Um, anyways, yeah, Joel Shermer's Jackson Smiley, I think from the, uh, the World Cup in July, the biggest tournament ever, um, uh, ever held in Albany, I think. Yeah, um, big one. 250-ish people, uh, 60,000 in prizes, uh, this game was absolutely meaningless because Jackson had already won the tournament and Joel was way out of it. <clears throat> yeah, um... But anywho, yeah, but it's this a good was, game. Uh, it's a good game. It's it, just it was a good game. The, yeah, I monster. think I saw this game. Anywho, uh, that's what's happening. Uh, you guys can can play each other, O'Connor and Josh. We'll we'll get Let's that out of the way. But yeah, just letting you guys know uh, after the stream ends that that's not it for content. Uh, yeah, lots of Scrabble content being uh, pushed out on the internet these days. I think it's really cool. I think we're really uh, really. What what would you what would you say we're doing? as a community right now. I think we're we are doing producing good content at an alarming rates, making the alarming easy rate. to find easy to find. If you type Scrabble into Google or into YouTube, you're going to find something. Yeah, that's um, yeah, it's 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 really I mean, it's tough. I'm trying to do it too. I'm trying to post every day. Uh, I'm basically I've basically become a full time content creator. But uh, I got to mm -hmm. We got to do it, you know. We got yeah, we to... appreciate it. We love what you do, and uh, you're bringing more more eyes to see the game. And some of those people are actually interested in playing. More people are playing online. Some people are showing up to a club to try playing the game in person. It's all it's all good. Hey man, thank you. Um, you're also streaming some content, but um, yeah, I think where you do want people to uh, be directed is. Uh, in your in your uh, little lower third there, it says that Ottawa Scrabble Club. That's your website. So, are you the Ottawa Scrabble Club? As we see the first <laughs> I am, play, I am a member of the Ottawa Scrabble Club. And if you happen to live in the area, you should click that link and see what we're all about. We meet every Wednesday. But if you don't live in the city of Ottawa, your local city probably has a Scrabble Club. And the best way to find that is to just go into Google. They probably have a website. They probably have a contact you can reach out to. So if you're interested in trying the game over a real board, you want to graduate from online play, that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, and of course, subscribe to this channel. I haven't seen a live subscriber count in a long time. Um, in this, so in this position, I like hockey, H-A-W-K-E-Y. That sets Ooh, up the yeah. E for Hawkeye and keeps the E-R combination. Yeah. Yeah, I think hockey was really nice there. Uh, you might not be sure that H A W K E Y is a word. Uh, I think it's but... good I E as well. Am I am I right about that? Yeah, I think I don't know. Um, I'm more sure of the E Y yeah. as we see Fox. Weakish and hockey's. So that can be spelled both ways. Believe it or not, though. Oh. Hawkeye is not a word. <laughs> Hawkeye is a Wait. funny. Okay. What? Oh no. Really? Yeah, okay. I wow. I don't know. I might I might have let that go even a five point challenge. Anyways, hey, it's still the about... best play. But if I would have played it, it would have been the worst play because I would then have hooked it and lost my turn probably. Yeah, soirees. That's one of the words I struggle to see. It's a pretty high probability uh, seven seven tiles, but it's just for some reason it's difficult for me to spot that word. Do you struggle with it too? I mean, yeah, obviously it's just the letters. The letters are not in the typical order. You're not expecting both of the e's to come at the end. Yeah, obviously, Josh had no issue there. Uh, so as we see, Zoe is smarter. 
But he also has armrest. One of the first yes. fun anagrams I've learned. smarter then? You think he's smarter than you? Mm, probably overall, yeah. Maybe he doesn't know as many Scrabble words, but the guy, he's got a big brain. He knows a lot of stuff. Probably smarter. What did than you me. say recently? You said Matthew O'Connor <laughs> remembers when when he was born. <laughs> he has an incredible memory. He he can remember, like, yeah, I remember the time we played a game in 2006 at some tournament in Poughkeepsie, New York, and you opened with this play. And I'm like, no, Matt O'Connor, I don't remember that. <laughs> Obviously, I don't remember that. That was 20 years ago. <laughs> But no, he's got a good mind for this game. He has, I mean, he's been playing what since he was eight, yeah, or something. Like he's, uh, I think he's, he's he's probably the youngest among us, and he's probably been playing the longest because he he's been playing since like two thousand three or something when he was a a wee child. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and he's made so much progress. He's always been like really, really fast, but he's just been getting better and better. And there's still like there's still a lot of room for him to improve, like in terms of word knowledge. That's the only thing. Like, and uh, yeah, if he ever learns the dictionary cold, and because of how good his memory is, I don't know who's going to be able to stop him. So yeah, uh, maybe we should be luckily, talking about these plays that are coming down fast, though. So uh, after all these plays, he's losing by about forty, but he's got the QU combo. Can he do something with it? He can. Yeah, Queen, very nice. Oh, and Josh has a really nice, uh, nice combination here. Just three vowels, the J can probably do something pretty nice here. If if he doesn't score much, he can keep him keep uh, really nice letters. He can definitely add a lot of fox with something unexciting like jar. It'll get the job done. Yeah. Get on with the J he, for some points. What if he just drops the J for twenty with Jor? But I mean, then where is he really going? You can That's underlap Fox. Thing. A lot of sevens will fit under under Fox on row 10. Uh, LOS is a word in, in Collins, I believe. So that line is trickier to hit in TWL. But yeah, I think he'll uh, try to take he'll try to get some points. With the score this close, I don't know if he'll fish off one tile. You know what? I remember the first time I met Matthew O'Connor. It was at and I'm going to do the thing where you're not going to remember anything. It was at the Ottawa tournament in 2013 that you directed. Um, yeah, what was he, like 13 at the time um, or something, maybe 14? Anyways, it was the first time I met <laughs> Matthew O'Connor. Should I tell this story? I think I should tell this story. Um, between rounds during lunch, we were playing uh, Anagrams, which is a – a variant of, of Scrabble, you only need tiles for it. So you just dump all the tiles on the table. Everyone has their share of um, face down tiles and you start flipping tiles in the middle of the table and you can play with like 10 people. And the first person to find a word gets to take that word. It's similar to the game I used to play as a kid, Word Thief. Um, anyways, point being, Matt O'Connor came over at some point when we were playing Anagrams and nobody was able to find any word, but I think there was some like word like famous. Someone had famous uh, as we see. Okay, J A come down, Twig come down, and Scolder. So, wow, nice lead again. Still for uh, for Josh here. It's gonna be hard, hard for O'Connor. Anyways, end of the story is like nobody could find any words. Then Matt O'Connor came over, and immediately said. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and took the, whatever word it was, famous, and um, yeah, and turned it into turned it into that word that I'm I'm not gonna repeat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't don't uh it's yeah. just it's just a word. Don't clip that. It's... Don't clip that. <laughs> Anyways, it was like the most Matthew O'Connor moment of all time yeah that coming from all he wanted to do old. is take a word that's he just saw a word he wanted to he wanted to grab it anyways there's a lot more details to that story but i've been talking too much as this game is coming to an end is yeah. matt o'connor like losing to everyone except me man 
He's having a rough day. Like uh, Josh just drew Unition with a blank and pulled the other blank right out of the bag. And those blanks were Matthew's last lifeline in this game, I think. So I really don't see how Josh can lose. I wish I would have drawn those in my game against him. Yeah. Blanks are useful. I wonder if this is a bingo rack. I'm looking, but... Uh... Hmm. Ball hop. Almost. Bell hop. Let's see. There's Ooh, one bingo. There is bill. one. I just looked it up. And there he it finds is. it. Oh my gosh. That's what a really a find. tough find, in my opinion. Wow. That's, that's, uh, wow. Josh Castellano is one of the strongest blank bingo finders on Aerolith. Uh, they have daily challenges that will give you blank rocks and you try to find the bingos in them. So he is someone who will find something like Basophil consistently. Um, I think a lot of wow. us would, would miss that. That's tough to see. I mean, and yeah, I mean, as you see the challenge, O'Connor didn't even know the word. I mean, you and I oh, know the yeah. word, but would we have seen it? I don't think, I don't know. I don't know with, if I would have. With a blank, that's, that's tough. In a 10 minute that's game, tough. looking through the least lucrative letter <laughs> on the board, the blank I. Yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. Wow. And uh, another 500 plus game. About to Are there any super interesting turns this game? Maybe uh, hockey instead of gawky. That wasn't super interesting, though. It was just, uh, I think he, he didn't see it. Yeah, well, the JA turn was interesting. Um, that's about it. This was a quick yeah. game. They only used half their time. Yeah, um, I mean, these guys have played each other so often. I know that I'm sure that Josh is just like, well, as long as I don't get low on time, I should, I should hopefully have a good chance to win. And that's basically like every time you you play Matt O'Connor, that's what you're thinking. It's like, yeah, I just need to use my time and uh, not get too low and not panic and try to win. Because yeah, when you get low on time, it's just like so difficult he's quick and he, he does all of his thinking in your time so it the problem tends to snowball if you go slow on one turn he'll be even quicker with his next play because he's already found all of his moves and decide what, he, what he's going to do right yeah using using your opponent's clock to your advantage yeah yeah he's very he's very good at that um all right undo comes down we're gonna have I guess there's no outplay with NTT, is there? No. It's gonna see some 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 sad play here <laughs> to nice. to end things. NAT, I guess a bet will come down or something. All right. Well, man, um, that's a good game. So the, I guess what are we gonna do? I think we're gonna do like a. King of the Hill. We're almost done with the round robin. Uh, see you and me next. You are one in a tie. I am zero oh and two. Matt O'Connor is um, one and one and two. two. And uh, Castellano is uh, a game. one and a half. two and a tie. Yeah. I'll be honest, we spent a lot of this game telling anecdotes about you guys and uh, didn't get a lot of time to discuss oh. the actual positions. Oh, well. Eh, no problem. After Yeah, our once again, like... Pretty much over. Yeah. I think. I mean, you guys both played super well. Uh, I think maybe hockey, EY. Okay, yeah, of, I was uh, wondering... Hockey. I was wondering if that was like... Is that, that looks like a word. Yeah, definitely better than gawky. The problem yeah. is, like... I knew that was a word, but I also thought I knew that Hawkeye was a word, which it isn't. So I would have played Hawkey to set up my E and then lost my turn. So well, anyways, that's about I, I all we that. thought was problematic here. I don't really know what you were supposed to do, O'Connor. Yeah. Basso kill. Oh my god. That's a good one. Like, that's a very good what one. What a find. Yeah. I I mean, were, were there any other bingos? That was the only one I saw. Yeah. Only one, okay. and I think that's a really tricky one to come up with. That's that's something a lot of good players would miss. So, yeah, yeah. I was impressed. Thank you.
Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I so the final game. I also wasn't sure oh, of signery ahead, myself. Ahead. I wasn't sure of signery myself. Is it signery or rayings? I knew it was syringa, but um, I guess it works out. Yeah. Uh, last game is going to be me versus Matt Tunnicliffe. Or I guess last All game right. of the round, Robin. I think we're probably okay to continue that afterwards. Um, I'm not really sure what the format's going to be. Um, but uh, yeah, good game, guys. Thank and you. Uh, welcome Thank to everybody you. who's watching on YouTube who's just getting here. Once again, uh, the Scrabble Skirmishes. Yeah, awesome idea by uh, Josh Greenway and the yeah. people at Let's Play Scrabble.com. It's meant as a little bit of a chiller version of the, what usually shows up on the channel, which is games from major tournaments with a lot of money on the line. and So it's meant to be a little bit more laid back to show us when we're just hanging out and having fun and not playing with a lot of money on the line. Oh, really? Is that, what, is that how I'm supposed to? I'm taking this like more seriously than tournaments. Ah, well, it's your choice. And we have w Will Anderson <laughs> rooting against the other three. I feel very hurt by that. Can't believe this. Rooting for Matthew Tonicliffe over us? That's right? a smart decision. He's just, he's got <laughs> smart, smart money's on me. He knows what he's doing. All right. Goodbye well, again. All right. It's uh, me and I, as the. I, I don't know the. Uh, yeah, I don't know the lines for this uh, this skirmish before it started, but maybe maybe Will Anderson has some money on someone or something. I have no idea. All right, got an exciting matchup. So I think okay, uh, given the way we go. The standings are, I think it will be you versus Tunnicliffe in the championship match. Either way, all right, well, it's good it's to gonna see. Play quite or quota. Yeah. Quite or quota looks look good there. They both have their either advantage. way. That one doesn't slot the eye. But I guess in this time better. control, the important thing is to just make a play. Yeah, get one of them down. We got doesn't really matter. What's gonna happen here? Quota Vine is interesting because it sets up multiple hooks and he has one of them. Vine is something that would like tend to sim better than it does because you're using the V there, it's fairly defensive. But F U, well, it's, it's actually know. not very defensive because it takes an O and an A. But oh, yeah, that's say, that's true. He's starting at a deficit and he has an A, it's probably not the worst idea to play something like Vine. So, uh, yeah, Vine looks fine here. For v is not a great tile, so it gets rid of it. Uh, and then the other the other option, yeah, by the analyzer, Quina maybe. Oh, Quina. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't know. Then, EFV. He can play Fove for a lot less points and get rid of all the bad tiles. Fove is interesting. Seems pretty aggressive. Is there anything else the analyzer? The analyzer isn't coming up with anything else other than putting the A on Vine at 9B, which oh. you definitely don't want to do here, taking the R and S hook, which you're down, but you don't have them. So your yeah, opponent's favorite that's, to hit them that's there. That's not what you want to do. I think Vine is a better calculated gambit because A, you have the A, and B, it's it's not gonna probably not gonna be used without a bingo based on the way it opens a triple. So it kind of ends up as a bingo lane that you have for later. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Nothing goes on top of QI, and nothing, there are yeah. no two-letter V words. So it's probably going to be there for that. a while, unless... Yeah. That's the thing, if your opponent hooks the A, it comes with hook. Yep, there's there's Vine. Yep, and there it is, uh, okay. Fox Laborite. Wow, okay, yeah, that's... Um, so but here, here's the play. thing, like, this is... I guess what is he gonna play? A boil? He he it doesn't score the greatest, but also it it sets up a bunch of hooks, so even though he's sitting on the R he might not even wanna play. I mean I, a boil there. might not be the worst idea because it sets up two triples and he might get so, to use one of them. Hmm. I actually, okay, I cheated a little bit and looked at the analyzer. His best play is actually Obelia, uh making mm -hmm. Ovine. For 36, keeping R. And oh, that looks, oh, I'm sorry. That looks pretty good. Obelia oh, and fine. Yeah. Um, that, I'll, I'll do my best to yeah, no, keep the analyzer and then, yeah. and then 
may only later turn it on. But that looks so. I was going to predict that spot is only taken by Bingo, but that looks like a strong play well, here. It's, it's you, probably you gonna another be more likely by Ovine because it only takes um, it only takes the B, I believe. The B and C are both the C. Yeah, over. but those are, those yeah. are much less of a of an issue than yeah. A You're not gonna yes. So yeah, R S B yeah. It's more like something like I don't know, Ox and Ovine is probably more likely to come down in a vacuum than than like Axe and Avine. Because if you had Axe and Avine, you'd probably look for something else given all the hooks. That's whereas, true. That's a good point. Whereas with like Ox and Ovine, it's a bit less risky given that there's it's less hooks. Hit. So another yeah. good option here that the analyzer points out is Kibla. And that I don't I don't know, maybe that might sim better. Yeah. Um, Kibla is not... interesting. Okay, so he does do Obelia. He does do Obelia. Um, okay. Yeah, I I think that ends up fine. It it kills that line forever while he's in the lead, which is great. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a big deal. And so, what do you follow up with here? I mean, certainly something on the A column. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that looks strong. Um. Keeping FU, I wonder if there were. That's probably the best play. Okay, yeah, replay is the best. Yeah, forty-four. I think it's one of beef. relatively few things to do there too, because of the fact the the hooks on the eye and stuff. I was thinking of something like Pia, maybe Pya or Fy, yeah. but the, those keeping. Yeah, I don't know. It's just replay Matthew, too many points. Matthew actually has very few options here. I I don't. It, it, the best play might even just be Paya. He really doesn't have anything. Yeah, he's just going to try and get rid of his duplicate tiles, duplicate A, duplicate R. Yeah. His best play probably wants to get rid of both of those. Maybe keeping two R's is okay, but... Uh, how how good of a uh, stem? I don't know. It, it, will, it would probably be the type of play to over-sim because he won't hit as many eights as the sim suggests, but... I don't know. Right. Pi Pian opens up lanes for him, but the lead yeah. is amazing. Okay, so the analyzer actually. Okay, analyzer is a good suggestion here. Of thirteen A Parai, which is another spelling of Piranha. Uh, that looks strong. Scoring fourteen, keeping A N R E, yeah. and also yeah. opening up two lines for you. The advantage is, is that um, the bingo lines aren't super good for scoring, and they're more for bingoing. Which is something you want right. when you're keeping a leave like a ERN. Uh, sometimes you like open up a triple as your bingo line, and it just gets used as a triple. But in this case, the bingo lines would be mostly for bingoing. I guess yeah, it's not like with the double, but it's better than say opening up a triple and it being used as a triple for forty by your opponent, and then you can't bingo there, which is something that definitely. Can so, Other than Parai, yeah. Like, if you don't have an S, uh, your bingos are not scoring a lot on rows 7 and 9, of making yeah, a two-letter word on quota. So, I mean, the board is going to be pretty open, but you don't necessarily mind that. He's not far in the lead, and he has bingo tiles. So, yeah, and he does okay. do... Oh, nice. He plays he it. That's a good do, play. Uh, he does do Pirai, so yeah. And then I probably follow up here with something like... Um, Flu at first. Okay, he gives it a challenge. Flu comes to mind. I'm sure there's something better. Um, maybe something like Flick. Yeah, well, Flick is interesting. It um, it sets up the S for the triple, so he'd be kind of committing to the route. Oh, you mean oh, Flick, flick there? <laughs> I was okay, I so... I already forgot. Yeah. About the C hook there. Yeah. And Matt Tonicliff, yeah, he's just looking to bingo here. Somewhere with Trance, there's a bunch of yep. places. He can, he can just... put it um, under or over Pirai, and he can put it under or... Oh, wait, he can put it with a four-way overlap with Quota, so that would be correct. Yep. This is a common rack, reasonably common, and there's two options, Tranced and Cant Red. And Cant Red is cool because it takes an S, even though it doesn't really look like it. All right, and he finds the, the strongest play there, and ooh, two U. Okay, he picks up yeah. another U. We, got, we have a and two U6 of Unguis, which is a nice 
Unky Wees. That's yep. notable. I for this for this kind of rack, I'd be looking right. to play on on peg. Yeah, um, I I don't think that I don't know if that there. goes anywhere good. Undug, um, Undug gets rid of both use. Undug Undug leaves a strong rack, it, so it gets rid of the use, which is which is what you need at this point. Um, and I don't yeah. see any other way to get rid of both without scoring like. Okay, yeah, so he, he does play on Undug. Um, and then here, Unhat. oh, would you play on Hat? Yeah, comes to Hat. mind. To remove um, the Hat of. Uh, that's one choice. He could play Hat uh, atop Pire. Oh, that's also a strong choice. Uh, um, that's that's an option. He could, yeah, I, I think Hat. Um, I don't know. Maybe you don't want to set up the double double. But he has ENFC. These, so, yeah, these, these, it the, for these plays, it can be really tempting to just fish off HT and be like, "Ooh, I'm keeping AENST, one of the five best yeah. tiles but ever." But I think here, yeah, for twelve, and it's not worth the sacrifice of twelve points to keep the extra A. So it would only be worth somewhere around seven or eight. So right, hat. At oh, top, yeah. your eye will end up being a better equity play by a decent margin. That looks um, better. Yeah. On half, half it looks strong. So, yeah. Uh, on, those are the two top like top hat. equity choices on hat or hat. Um, both strong. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, one of these, I think, has should, a I mean. Property where it kind of encourages additional plays down there that close the board. Okay, and he goes for on hat. That's on a hat. strong play. Okay. So I, the I'm first thinking... thing I see here is poked. Uh, poked, yeah. Eye. Poked. Cow also. Cow. That has a better leave, so that's that's a good choice. Um, here we Cow have. It looks sped. like it looks like fainters will be the fainters. Best. I don't see a spot. snifter as well. Plays, I don't but yeah, yeah fainters yeah, going to be better. Um. Oh, okay. Tough stuff. Yeah. Drawing a, a U here. I don't see any bingos for Josh. Okay, no. this is tricky. He's down by over a hundred. Probably just gonna play poi and poi. I don't. Oh, maybe he wants to leave it open for the double double. It's not super easy to use, and the P is one of few things that goes there. Maybe I'll just leave it open and try to get a double double with the P. And if I, not, I'll try I think to... it. Yeah, low scoring blocking play. At this, well, what at this does he score? do? What does he do? Duo and set up. Uh, the issue with duo is it creates another place to block the double double, but it opens a triple for him. So maybe he does duo. Maybe duo uh, in which spot is? Uh... Uh, I think uh, parallel to fainters was my idea. Oh, that oh that oh that's mean, interesting. It opens up the triple and it keeps the. P for double doubles, so it it basically creates two big lines that he needs he needs stuff like that in order to have a chance to come back. I like that spot. It's well, well, hold on, duo. How likely is that to get blocked? It seems like re parallels. Yeah, be but blocks, I don't think it's but, super easy to get a five down. You'd have to get a five or like You'd some have to four get a five starting down with the block. Owl, maybe. It's not hard to block the double double, but then there's the triple, and you'd need to get a five down to block both. And yeah, Josh and does some, keeps, need something it drastic. The, it keeps the P, which is what he, he needs to keep the P if he wants to double double. Yeah, duo seems okay to me. Well, so what what does the analyzer say? So analyzer is yeah, of course the static analyzer, which doesn't sim is suggesting cashing in the the, the poi spot with oped, um, yeah, for thirty six. But I don't see how you win after that play. I, yeah, I, he's still gonna be down um, eighty nine. It's not gonna be his turn, and he's never. I'm sh he's not gonna get all the opportunities that a sim would suggest he gets. Uh, with his ass, because yeah. Tunnicliffe will play defensively. Yeah, Tunnicliffe's going to play parallel in, like, M or O column. Or he might make a play with, like, the E, but he's not going to do things that open up an S-hook. He's not going to open a... 
Interesting. Udo. Okay. So, is he hoping to draw the J and then get a J play and a bingo? I feel like that might be what he's ooh, going. That's really. That's really interesting. Yeah, that's. This is a very hopeful. This is a Everything fun gambit. Is hopeful though. Yeah. So if, if I'm Matt, I think for sure Josh Sokol has the J, given his history of making plays like this, these huge setups. Um, and a J what? score here would score like. Oh, like so are, are we gonna something maybe? play? Is uh is gold a word? G U L L E. I think so. I think so. That... Gold is an. I think so. Let's check. Check. Gold is a word. Yeah. Um. Is that the best way to do something resembling. Maybe. I was thinking about. Block? Do you want to do lols? Maybe. Well, that now nah, you don't want to dump your Z for just fourteen. Yeah. So, I probably wouldn't. Matt. Matt has an interesting choice here. He can play G's for 48 through yeah. Fainters. Okay, and he does. Oh, oh my, God. my he goodness. He drew. Oh my he God. Wow. That's and incredible. Matthew he drew Clark the J. Probably thinking, he's probably thinking, ah, oh, I let the setup go. Of course, he had the J, but he didn't. He didn't even have it. I, he just. I, that uh, was. Wow. He just drew incredible. it. Incredible. So, um, but that I, was, that was I don't know about part Jinx, of his though. math. What if, what if he plays Jimps? Is the maybe the pool is uh, so Jimp actually? I don't think is a word. I think it's just Jimpy. Jimp. It's an adjective. Yeah. Oh. Jimp and Jimpy. No Jimps. Oh, I'm sorry. James um, is a, James is an interesting option because it keeps the beats for double doubles. Oh that oh that looks much better. Um, yeah, James keeps the P for double doubles. That's uh that's something. Stymied. Okay, so Josh has he stymied, stymied here. He is stymied. Oh, okay. He plays too fast. Is there any stymied... chance that that was on purpose? Was there t was there some timing that like worked out better? If you don't, I don't bingo, I don't know about that. that. I don't think, think so. I, I mean, think has, you, yeah, you need to play stymied here. That's whatever now. So. Um, I was gonna say for and Matt, yeah, Matt's gonna bingo, and now it's Wait, definitely. Not, did he just miss Maltier and and Moy? I guess he did. Uh, oh, oh wow. Okay, yeah, Moy. There's probably there's a bunch of plays there. Martels, Maltier, Marlin. Yeah. yeah, there's there's a lot of options, and now um, I mean now it's just over. He's he's not. Now good. it's Maybe it's not. Maybe he can do something crazy like play GIE and fish for a double double. Unless you can, yeah, somehow bingo. So, yeah, there's no bing. Yeah. It doesn't look like... Can he yeah, somehow wow. somehow play, like, GIE and fish for a double-double and hit a double-double? Yeah, maybe. Um, and you would... Uh... Well, no, if you have... If he plays GIE, that leaves... Oh, well, it, 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 it leaves the hmm. M, which is what you need. Like, then he could at least attempt to hit... I don't even well, know. I'm thinking, how do you win without bingoing twice? Because you're not going to do that. There's well, you hit a big double now. double. You bit. You hit a big double double. A double double. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I guess that's, you like it'd be the you only play way. guy, but then if that's I the mean, only way you can win, it's probably going it, to be blocked. Or maybe he can only block it for eight points, and you bingo elsewhere. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have any good options, so I don't see. I don't think that's like the worst option. What yeah, if he guy, plays I mean, guy is also Gigo, reasonable he plays Gigo choice, Gigo on top and maybe Matthew block. I don't know. He's just going to play gem. Now okay, Matthew's probably going to play Vox. And then Vox should be pretty much uh, a yeah. gamer at this point. Yeah, Vox. Yeah, Vox was, is... Uh, yeah. 51, which is going to be enough even if he gets something down. Yes, oh, wow. some. <laughs> In incredible setup with the, uh, with the. Oh, he does block Udo. the. He's going to block the double double just in case. Okay. Let's go ahead blocking the double double. And yeah, Josh um, is going to play Zune. And yeah, now he'll, he'll cash in Vox this turn. Zune. Oh, okay. So he played Zune. Probably making RO intentionally and seeing if he could get away with it. And it looks like he's, oh. he's done it. Yeah, he got it. So oh. we might have to adjudicate this in Josh's favor. I, I don't know how this works. I don't know how phony. Oh, okay. And he does it again. Anymore. 
I guess. Playing EB? Oh, okay, so Matt sees time. that one. What do we got? Wised? I at least see Wised. Wise. Probably trying to tell him something with letting letting the uh, the phony 2 go. With oh, yeah. He deliberately played it right next to RO. To right next to RO. Extending uh -oh. RO to bro. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, he That's could play um... ATBE and celebrate his newfound knowledge. That might be the best play. Uh, play which play? Well, he plays H-E-B-E under... Um, under... No, he chooses a much stronger uh, play of he well, he, plays he, Bivo. He, he can show everyone that Scrabble skirmishes are about learning, and he learned a new word at the skirmish. Well, he also lost by 148. Oh, it probably would have been right. closer if he uh, didn't play bro, but... So we got we got our adjudication what? is Josh Sokol loses by one hundred and thirty eight. Maybe if he didn't try so many phonies, it would have been a bit closer. <laughs> and we have uh we have something prepared for if you lose on spread at the end, Josh. Oh, all right, exciting. I thought we you said thought, this was this was more casual. Uh, we thought the best play on your last turn was to play H E B E under twos and to celebrate your newfound knowledge. <laughs> that looks strong to me. I thought that was the best play. So I'm um, Matt, uh, Matt Tunnicliffe. What were you when he played Udo? What did you think he had, and what was like your thought process for that play? I thought he probably might have the J. I mean, he's yeah, obviously he setting it up. He did not. Well, he drew it. <laughs> I knew there was a he chance that he didn't J. have it as well. Did I have anything there yeah. that blocked that was we, good? Like I saw, saw Ludo gold. plays. We saw gold. Gold, uh, maybe. I, saw, I don't know. I'd rather s a s gamble that he didn't have the J. And if he does, like whatever, he's not going to catch up with that. The I thing is, the like, flying. yeah, G scored so much, you were still up by like a bingo ish score. So probably. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, yeah. I just decided also, to let him have it. Josh, when you played Ditsy, were you passing up Stymied strategically, or did you miss that? Yeah. Misty and Stymied? Okay. You think I missed both of those? No, no, no. Oh, the Sty bingo. Oh, I, the bingo. oh I, wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking of bingoing there. Okay, so because you, you think you don't think it's correct to bingo in that case. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> Wait, where is that you, even? You had oh, a... if... oh, At the very uh... least, making... Making oys. Oh, I oh dynamites. Dynamites <gasps> through NA is notable. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's yeah, cool. That's um, a cool play. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I guess maybe I should bingo there. Also, I'm not sure. The next uh, Matthew Tunnicliffe surprised us with Lemeter when he could have played any <laughs> double double, making. Yeah, <laughs> I know why you played that. Your choice. No, because I, I just didn't that. look at the. I had a minute left. That's why I played it. I just. Uh, yeah, I that's fair. Missed. Yeah, Usually you'd have fun. more than a minute. I I know why I know why that was the first word you saw. It was uh it was a word that was played against me in a recent in a game that you were looking at on your on your stream the other day Maybe or yesterday why. even. Was depression, right? Man, what a great game! Could have gone either way. <laughs> we liked uh, we thought bro was strong because it pointed out that you got away with row. Was that your logic? Oh, oh yeah, that was strong. That was a Felsic. strong play. Okay, so Felsic. I missed Felsic. 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 Yeah. I was super annoyed that I couldn't remember if sulfic was a word. Sulfic? Is that a no, word? It's not. It's not. Yeah. yeah, I don't like it. Okay. No, that's why I lost. Okay. It. I didn't see Felsic. Yeah, yeah, that was why yeah, I played Felsic bro. Was... I wanted to get away with RO, but then I wanted him to see that I got away yep. with it. That's we we figured that out and we pointed it out. Yeah. The strong play. You you got to point out very clearly that you got away with need, RO. Need need to point out the phony too. Yeah, that's essential. Yeah. But we also thought you should have played H E B E on the last play to Yeah, I heard, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Demonstrate the learning. We we didn't like the ridiculous phony at the end, especially because it wasn't enough to win. Okay, sorry. Yeah. The, um, I'll, I'll do better next oh, time. Parai was a strong play. By, yeah, we like I mean, Parai. that was the top equity play. That was a good play by Matt Tonicliffe. Okay. All right, let's see the standings. Word that I but I'm glad that was yeah. good. Wow, my spread is not very good. 
Um, oh, what? I think okay, Matthew it's Sunnycliffe. Are we doing a three? Are we doing a third place match between me and Sokol, and then a uh, and then a finals? Is that how it works? Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, let's that's let's how it do works. it then. All right, I'm gonna play you again, O'Connor. Don't yeah. beat me by one, please. Beat me by more than that. Beat you by more than one. All right. Yeah. We'll try. All right. What I can do. See you what guys right. later. Our glasses. All yeah, right. they're gonna start. And hey, just a reminder: if you're liking the content you're seeing, if you're having fun with us, uh, feel free to like or subscribe. It helps out the community and uh, gives us some feedback on you know what we're doing good and uh, what we can provide in the future. All right, so they're gonna get started shortly. Let's see if we can find the game. Yeah. I'm trying to think, yeah, the, for the last game for you, uh, Matt, um, more or less, more or less fine. No big misses, I don't think, other than probably the Marlite. The double double, yeah, gave a fair chance for him in the game, but yeah. I think you're, uh, uh, you're, you're a little, you're a little choppy there, um, on the audio and video, um. Just a heads up, not sure if you're aware of that, but I can still hear you somewhat. All right, let's see if they've started. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have a game. It's not on, doesn't look like it's on stream uh, yet, but Josh has opened, sorry, Matthew has opened with Joel, uh, keeping two A's and that looks fine there. All right, and let's see if, uh, all right, so here's Josh. So Matt's up by 42. Josh holding I-O-P-R-S-S-U. There we go, and here we see. All right, what are the options for Josh Sokol here? I'm going to try and look a bit on my own before using the analyzer as a crutch. Um, love to get rid of the U. And maybe one of the S's if you can score. Maybe something like, uh, oh my gosh, I don't even know anymore. Uh, let's see. Something like SOP. SOP? No, I don't want to get rid of the U. Huh. What would you do here? Like U O, Jures? Okay, that's the play that I. <laughs> Should have thought of. That looks good. You're keeping SIP. That's a strong leave. Let's see. And that was, in fact, the top equity play. Here I'm looking at something like Ixne, or is the word that jumps out at me. I don't know if that's the best play. You're probably just better off playing, Matt, Matt here is better off playing so something like AX. Uh, getting rid of one of his three A's. That seems strong here. Okay, he does, in fact, just do that. Um, and yep, that's a good play. And here, okay, Josh picking up a few too many consonants, but he's got the F, the LDP, and those go good together. So he'll be able to get out with something like flump. Yeah, that's a great play. Putting the P on that hot spot. And that looks like the best play there as well. Flump for 37, keeping IST. And now I think, okay, yep, yeah, Matt's just going to play using that hotspot, nay, and ex. And that looks pretty strong. I guess yar actually might be a slightly better there. You score three fewer points, but you're undoubling. You're getting rid of one more of those A's. You're giving yourself better bingo chances next turn. So I think yar at 7G, making white ex and AD, uh, would have been a little better there. Uh, you do sacrifice three, but it's worth it because you're undoubling the A. And now Josh has probably a few choices of bingos here. Um, and I, there, I mean, there's definitely, there's some through the S here. Uh, if I, what are the bingos to the S? Um, Sieverts at the very least. Oh, no, sorry. Sievert making a lop would be 
strong, but he found an even better play, which I didn't see because of that tricky axe hook. Deviates. That looks uh, best. Oh, okay. Wow. There's actually a better play. There is a double double here. Restrive, making ME and a lops. So deviates is tricky and it seems the best, but you actually have restrive there. That's tough to see. Looking for a bingo that's like 15 more points when you already found one that is for like 15 more points than the next best play. That's a tough play. An airy is best there for 35 points, doubling that Y. And now Josh is going to be able to play something like Fleam. Fleam or Fleek actually looks really strong here, making fairy. I think that's definitely going to be the play. Uh, David Adams, we are playing on a site called Woogles.io. I'll put it in the chat here. Um, this is, in my humble opinion, the best uh, site to play Scrabble on. And yeah, that's a good question, Scrabble. Fleek is Collins. Uh, so it looks like Josh definitely missed it. You don't want to burn your S there. At the very least, you wanted to play Fleam, which also might be Collins. So the best two plays there might be Collins only. Um, yeah, so I don't know if anyone in the in the chat can help out there, but Fleam probably also Collins. I think it might be a Spencer word. So he has to burn his S there, <laughs> um, which isn't great. You do want to keep your S. But if you don't know the Collins words, that is the best play. And here we have Matthew O'Connor still um, overloaded with vowels. Ba looking strong there. And it looks like I'm joined again by Matthew Tunnicliffe. Welcome back. Sorry about that. I'm now uh, using my phone as a hotspot. My home internet has decided to kick out on me. Wow, well, that's terribly inconvenient of it. But I'm glad you could uh, make it for for this. So far, they've played... Oh, actually, Josh missed two Collins Fives, I think. Um, I thought you said he knew his Collins Fives, but... Fleem, you know F some of them. F-L-E-M-E, -E, is that Collins? I, I suppose it must be. I, I think, think it is, it. yeah. I don't think that's a TWL word. Um, he had to burn his S for making Fems. Okay. Probably um, the second the rest, best play then. No, it was the third best after Fleek, which is also Collins only. Fleek. I bet he know. I he he definitely knows Fleek. I think he's gonna know that word. He probably just didn't think of it. He, he's the kind of person who would know that word and know that it's good in Collins. I think. Hmm. The rest of the plays were all correct. Oh, except for deviate. When he had deviates, he had restrive, making M E and alops for like hundred fifteen or hundred five or whatever. Okay. Um, but other than that, Leku. So is that that looks like a fine play? Oh, faded was better there for thirty. A similar equity. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Leku. Matthew O'Connor correctly sees the spot with Farad, with no place to play gold arm. Leku does not take an S hook, I believe. So it uh, does not make the board as open as it seems. Yeah, it's actually unless you have a six to the triple there. You can't do much with that. Oh, Real okay, time. wow. They've, they've really done a great job with this five-letter word ladder here on the lower left. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is dense. But Biltong is a great way to finally force this board open. We're going to get some plays through those letters. And that's something you need. He's down about 57. He can't afford to be just dinking on this closed board. He's got to do something to open the board up. Mm -hmm. um, and built on is also just the best uh, the best play available to him uh, anyway. And there's that six from the U, though he did have to burn up all his uh, best tiles here. Um, that looks strong. Yep, redact. Yeah, he's just trying to outrun whatever bingo Matt O'Connor gets at this point, which is a good strategy. I wouldn't try to defend on this board. I would just try to outrun. Okay, Matthew O'Connor playing, how much was that? 30 points and keeping the Z. Though, yeah, this it, it's looking really grim. I mean, the score is not that bad. Um, but on a board like this, 42 is like, seems almost insurmountable. Weight seems like a good equity play, but you're it's contributing to your own downfall, right? Because you're blocking up the bingo lanes that eventually you're going to need. So yeah, so analyzer suggesting 
a wins or wans to the end, which I actually like. That looks a lot stronger. At least you have a chance to bingo after playing off your Z there. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's like, yeah, he plays underneath with Vayne. This is going to be really tough to open up in a productive way that Josh isn't going to immediately shut down. And 74 points. Yeah, this is so like I'm sensing Matt, like in these situations, Matt does something like he tends to do something like something really extreme, something really crazy to open you need up. Something I don't know what that would be. Yeah. Brucine. Oh, okay. He got it confused. It's There's a, a word in that. Caribbean. Yeah. It's Caribbean. Okay. That is, uh, okay. That's an unfortunate miss. Krubin would have yeah. been good. Okay, he has another shot. Do you think he'll play this one? Do you think he knows there is a word and it was yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. He but just maybe cube. he's doubting himself altogether now. Cube is very aggressive, but at this point, it's the kind of thing he needs. And Josh doesn't have a great response to this. This is probably one of the racks. I mean, obviously minus the blank that Matt is hoping Josh has with a play like is Cube. Is this a burn the blank for 30 kind of rock? It might be. Like, you play like play what? G or goo goop? What, goop? What would you want to make the blank? Goop. Yeah, goop would be. <laughs> I think, honestly, that might be warranted at this score, at this stage of the game. I might do that. Th this is the kind of play that people, certain people love to make, burning the blank for 29. Just to Like Matt would blank. love to make this play. If the roles were switched, I think he would play this pretty quickly, probably. Um, yeah, most of us dream of playing like Ziziva or Kazik or something. Matt O'Connor dreams of burning a blank for 29 points. It's just, it's what he lives for. His favorite and most memorable plays. Uh, Sir Fink says, what got challenged? Brucine got challenged, B-R-U-C-E-E-N, when the valid word in there was Krubin. And yeah, okay, so Josh opting not to burn the blank, and this is also probably fine. Um, okay, and now... Ooh, do you have any bingos here? I don't think so. But Probably zero, not. yeah, Matt needs something like, like you have Epigoni and Pierogi are the sevens, but I don't think they fit. Are there any front hooks for Ono left? Doesn't seem like it. So it only takes, does that only take the M? Why does it feel like there should else? be more? I'm trying to come up with another one. It might just be the M. I think it's just the M. Okay, but Matt, so the problem with OI is that it only scored eight, and it does allow Matt to catch up a little bit. He's up 43. It's still pretty dire on a board like this, but mm -hmm. it's within the realm of possibility to maybe outscore if Josh has some not great racks, which is why, I don't know, I think Goop would have been reasonable there. Oh, I also opens up a line for a seven. Kind of a sneaky spot there, but row seven, you can fit seven tiles there, ending a word in RS. That's a good point. Now, is is that something you'd want to do? Like, this is always something I struggle with. When you're up, like, with a blank, do you want to open up the bingo lines because you're probably more favored to hit it, or not because you're down and don't want to give your opponent a chance to come back. Sometimes I don't know. Okay, and here Josh has a game-ending Modwar, I think, or Moodier. Um, oh, yeah. So we, we are going to see the Ono front hook. But, yeah, that's that's the decision I have trouble with sometimes. Like, like yeah, and there it is. Okay, so that's game over. Uh, that was a tough one for Matt Matthew O'Connor there. I think, I mean, what was the turning point? I don't know. Maybe something like wins instead of wait, because after Vayne, that really that set the tone for the whole game, I guess. I mean, he was in dire straits on that W turn, no matter what he played. Like wins, he still needs to hit a bingo very soon. But he just he never yeah. really drew the bingo tiles that he was going to need. Yeah, I mean, yeah, even like even at the even if he does play crew bean. Um, it's still, I mean, it's, you're putting the C there on that column, which does not help you at all. Why? I, why didn't I just? Why didn't I just play elapse? Now I'm like sure of it. <laughs> uh, elapse with oh, elapse oh, and restrive. Yes, that was better. I'm lucky. Good game. Yeah, good game. All right, it's time for the so, wow championship uh, championship match. Oof, all righty. 
Josh um, Tano and Matthew Tanaklev. All right, I guess yeah. Are we gonna? Are we, do we start now? Do we talk a little bit about this game, or do we do we just keep going? I mean, I know what well, I want to know. Well, I don't actually need to you know anything. You when you played Glenn. is is Fleek a word? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Fleek is a word. No! Also, Fleek. <laughs> Fleen, also a word. F L E M E. Both of those are good. Uh, I don't care about Fleem. I just wanted to play Fleek, but I didn't <laughs> actually <that> know. <laughs> it's a word, yeah. That, that would, uh, yeah, that would have kept well, the S and scored a few more, yeah. Would have been strong. Well, okay, guys. Good luck in your game. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, good luck, right, Josh. Let's get started. All right, finals. It's finals time. Oh my god! So whoever <coughs> wins wins. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's go to the match and let's send the link. Okay. Man. And we're off. Um, what to say? Well, you guys, you guys should. Uh, Obviously, like this video and subscribe yeah. if you're liking what you see. Uh, um, uh, and before good. before this stream is over, uh, before we talk about the game, uh, yeah, once again, the video is being dropped uh, right after this. So the video of Jackson Smiley versus G.I. Joel. There will be more yeah. of those to come from. They're going to probably come out maybe twice a week for the time being. Yeah, games from the 2023 World Cup right here on this channel on Let's Play Scrap. Yep. Um, uh, okay, but let's it's go. not just that we run tournaments every few months, and if you like the idea, you can check us out on Let's Play Scrabble.com, and we will put games from those tournaments on YouTube. So this yep. is interesting because I don't think he actually has anything with the Z for forty-eight, but I bet you he's looking for stuff. So he's probably going to give up at some point and play. Oh, he exchanged. Oh, he exchanged. What did he exchange? I wonder if they just exchange two. Like, nice. Yeah. Exchange the E and the U. That's awesome. I love so, that play. Yeah. And now. I think oh, it looks really on. good, but the E is probably too good to pass up. Yeah, it's probably a bit better to play play Z for twenty two. I, I really like this idea. Yeah. E and we're having fun. That's what you said, right? Yeah. 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 Nice play. Um. Does he have a bingo? I don't see it yet. I don't think he does. No, the, the analyzer is telling me Ron's for 33 is good. Ron's? Ron's is better than Za? Keeping ENRST? Oh my god, Sir Fink asking me a hilarious question in the chat from last game. The answer is I absolutely did, and I had that on the board for around 20 seconds before I picked it up. Surfing. What was, was that? Uh, I almost burned my blank on the OI turn. Um, okay, right. so Zoc comes down. That's a great play as well, yep. keeping ENRST. What else do we got? Um, Kiev. Kiev. Yeah. With, with or without the uh, E. Where does that go? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tripping. No, I don't see it. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, this is a tricky turn, actually, I think. Because you want to get rid of both the yeah. the K and the V, but what about, like, yeah, he could play a, like a good way to do a, that. L A K E and A A L might be something. It obviously doesn't get rid of both, but I don't know if there is a way to get rid of both. So A and A A L might be all right. Evited. I might I might do Ave and A A L just to prevent overlaps. Uh, yeah, I guess it's hard to overlap A A L. Not really sure. Yeah, it's a tough turn it for a final three. game. You wish you had more time here for sure. Yeah, let's see what he ends up doing. I I don't know. Ake scores twenty, which is something on this board. Av and A A L probably is a slightly better leave. Um, and then there's things like Ev Evited D V A. Yeah, I might I might go for a bit longer with E V I T E D here. Yeah, I, I kind of like. It yeah, it doesn't open a lot because it puts but, the beat in the middle of everything. Yeah. So it's, it, you can't overlap it easily, which is which helps its case. But this is the thing, right? I mean, Josh just played exchange two and then played ZA. Yeah. I mean, you know he's holding great yeah. stuff here. 
But I don't so think you, you really want to throw really, out anything. Can you can't you really an I and e? do anything about a loud? But yeah, maybe. The flip side is that um, what a ache and Av set up a T hook. I mean, it's not much, but you know, like that that might help them get something down, like Donart, Donart. Um, yeah, no, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going back to liking the three tile play here, making AAL. Yeah, what you're saying is uh, it gives back, you're saying it, it gives it's, back it's probably still better. It does give up um, a T hook. T hook, T A A L, yeah. Yeah, but I still think it's probably, but he does evident, and now we got yeah, an that. Yeah, and in this case, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, Josh's rack was just too strong, so. We got yeah. stuff like rat teens up top, and. Natters, Rattans. Yeah, uh, yeah, lots of the, lots of yeah. high probability. I mean, these are the cream of the crop, right? These bingos. Yeah. You got to know them uh, yeah. at the higher levels, and you got to uh, see them fast. And yeah, rat. Uh, I think I like Rattines a little better. It's it's a, it probably sets up the trip. R a t t e e n s. Yeah. Yeah. Ian Evited. It sets up the triple maybe a little less hard yeah so what are you gonna play okay. we got dh dh AK. AK. oh nice yeah that's a nice play D -H -A -K. there's also haku haku to the u and allowed like i don't think that's worth doing that, that's also not a word or K -E oh ke oh gosh okay so i played a phony two on purpose and now i'm just seeing well phony yeah two. i mean yeah don't play phony twos guys <laughs> I think he just has to play, yeah, Dak. Now we have things like... Um, oh, wow, this is a great draw for Josh. He could play Tanyoid. That might be... I mean, that at least gets to the triple and uses the D, so it's probably best. Notified, Tonified. Mm -hmm. uh, retinoid. Wow, yeah. Yeah. And that's probably what's going through Josh's mind, too, what you just heard, the uh, stream of thought there from, uh, from Matt O'Connor. Yeah, and, he's probably yeah. he's probably seen all of them and he's deciding between them. <laughs> uh, I think the other thing is he's probably looking for one that starts with the D instead of ends. Right, that way he's not opening anything. Right, right, right. Yeah, um, nice definition. Liking I the think, definitions. I don't think they exist, so I think he's going to eventually play one of them. And yeah, I don't I don't know what to say out of. Uh, I would probably, I don't know. I don't know which one I would play. Yeah, it's not a huge difference it's between. not a huge difference. Um, they, all, they all probably slot relatively friendly floaters, so you just pick one. Um, I think this one's slightly more difficult to underlap, which it is, may or may not is, be a good thing. Has, there's more vowels. Uh, now what are we going to play? Oof, he has is, not a good rack. Um, he could play punt underneath allowed, which probably he could play tapu. I think tapu underneath allowed is probably the best. T A P U, yeah, uh, it yeah. Looks it, decent. It I mean, pretty close to the best, and it also sheds an A and a U. Yeah, this is a really I tough think, position. Yeah, that 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 would have to be it. I think right you, you want to play i mean this word that we all learned very early on uh when we play scrabble u n a u which is a type of sloth yeah, you, you really like want to play it. it you would like to but it doesn't go anywhere so i think therefore it would probably be tapu uh, under allowed i don't see what else he would uh, do yeah yeah this is tough uh, this is a similar position to the first game we watched which by the way it was between Matt Tunnicliffe and, and uh, Josh Castellano, who you see is right behind you on the screen. Uh, yeah, but he, he finds have, it. Just tapu. And now he he's got the blank. Last time... He has ox on top for 50. I don't see why he would do anything else. Yeah, yeah. there it is. Oh, just saying, last last time uh, last time here. he missed the EPA, right? So this it's is a similar the, situation. The T's were slightly less covered up then Matthew would be able to play nauseant. But unfortunately for him, they're all just a little bit too hidden to put nauseant down. Yeah. So 
what is he I mean, now you what? can play. Now you can play, you know, from the U and allow it. And it would only be eight, but it would uh, it would keep a great leaf. Yeah, you definitely want to find something better than that, but if you can't, that's a decent option to set up the S. And I, I mean, don't you already have you already have spots for the S, but yeah. We will see what options he has. There aren't a lot of options. Um the good thing for yeah. him is it's a very S friendly board because he has the S hook for deck and he has yeah, he does you now. Huh. Yeah, this is really tough. Like he's down over a hundred points. He's gonna need at least two. So if I'm, uh, if I'm plays. Josh here, I'm gonna start to close down the board. So I might do something like guys and Dax because it scores pretty well and it blocks what's gonna be a pretty nasty bingo line if he goes there. Yeah. I was I was looking at struggly. That would be a funny word if that were valid. Struggle like like a struggle, struggly. But unfortunately not. Yeah, I really like your idea. But he this goes just straight for the throat. Wow, straight for the throat. He does and not he, care. Yeah, and Matt Tonicliffe isn't going to have anything. So what is he going to do? Yages? Yages <laughs> with the door. It was a horrible draw. A-Y-O. Actually, I, I play think yo he, yogas. I think Yage is pronounced Yahe because I believe Y-A-H-E is coming soon to the dictionary. Okay. Um, yeah, yogas maybe in that spot. You need another yeah, yoga, yoga is is a is a better version of that. Because now, I mean, the problem is for um, for for Matt. He's down by so much. He also needs to like stop Josh from scoring as much as he can. And there's not a great way to do that. Yeah. I think you just play yogas and you hope he has all continents or something, and then you hope to bingo there. I mean, he 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 can't really be focused on keeping the S when he has something like yogas. Yogas kind of does everything else you want other than keep the S, and it scores so much. I mean, 34 is pretty good. So I think he's going to end up playing Yogas and just hope to redraw into a bingo or redraw an S. I mean, there's two left and a blank from his perspective. Unfortunately, Josh kept S blank, but from his perspective, yeah, S blank. Blank. <laughs> so I think he just does Yogas and he hopes to draw something. The interesting thing here is, okay, he plays Yo, this yo. and there's, we're going to see a bingo that's going to end the game here. What um, do we, oh, yo him but what I wanted to say, what I wanted to say, O'Connor, is that the play of Ruggy, when you're when you're faced against that play, you absolutely have no idea what your opponent has. Ooh, little he has a good one. Matt no. uh, yeah. Little does Matt know that S blank were the two letters left behind. What, what were you going to say? Uh, what does he have? Do you have a bingo ending in IES? Combies. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm just seeing something with docs. Obviously, if you you really want to now block the triple triple if you can, because that's the only way you're going to lose. Yeah. Ton of cliff gets a triple triple, but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, anything is probably just going to win the game. Knowing knowing what Matt has left over, I think this is it. Yeah. Yeah, probably something underneath. Um, underneath TAP, right? That's what you're th you're saying. Yeah. yeah be moils and oof. Yeah. That's, that's curtains. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh. Oh, zombies. It's fun. But yeah. The tough it's... tough game for for Matt. He uh couldn't get a blank. Ran into three bingos early. He gets the ref not, but. Wow, that's a great find. I didn't see that. I don't, I don't know if uh, it's going to give him any chance at all. I mean, yeah, he plays Gossy, and yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, this is uh, this is basically curtains. I mean, good good effort from Matthew, but Josh just drew the bag this time, I guess. I mean, he's probably, what is he going to play? Ori? I guess Ori throws in the towel, but he doesn't have much of a chance. Yeah, this is this is over. Um, I mean, if you really want to try to win, you play something that opens a triple triple and just hope for the best. But yeah, yeah. at this level, that's not that's Quite we'll never work. do that. Opening it up with a consonant and praying for all consonants or something.
Yeah. Uh, we have someone in the chat, Two Tone, saying that he met uh, Josh Greenway, the producer of this uh, this channel and stream, at the uh, event in Brampton. So that was a uh, a free Scrabble tournament. Really awesome event. Um, yeah, it's Got good it. to see you in the chat. Yeah. And that's a good shout out to one of the things Let's Play Scrabble does. I believe they had multiple newcomers events and they gave away Scrabble sets and stuff like that. And just get the word out to the community because that's how we're about at Let's Play Scrabble. Yeah. All right. Um, ooh, that was loud. What uh, do you do here? Yeah, I mean, there's still some some tiles left, but I don't. There, are, there I are. Think, I think Matt just missed, right? Yeah, I I don't. I guess you just play something like Core and Mock and Obo, and you hope again to draw a seven on the end column. I don't. Yeah, what what Tonicliff needs here is he needs to make a play, and then he needs to play a bingo next turn, and then yeah. he needs to play a bingo the next turn, and. I guess uh, that's one of the the play of fob was really great because it pretty much prevents those sorts okay. of... probably just giving up yeah but the play uh, of fob i mean do you want to talk play. about how that really play or something really maybe, seals the not. Deal. maybe josh will play something like peeled to try to run out of tiles oh yeah that's an interesting concept I mean, yeah, it's leaving not exactly like seven in the back field. I mean, it does, but it shouldn't be that hard to block both if it comes down to it. Yeah, so and what's I, the point QI of this QI is play? also unlikely to go anywhere, and it's likely to become QI for 46 instead of 22, which is another good thing. Right, so what's the point of this play? I want, I want to be a bit more precise for the new viewers. Yeah, it, when you get to the end of the bag, each additional tile you play off becomes more significant because it makes it more and more likely that you're going to get through everything quicker and when you're ahead. What's even more significant is if you can get the bag to below seven, you make it impossible to bingo twice. Right. So just making it impossible to come back when someone's down by so much. And yeah. also, yeah, I be, having 500 points drawing an eye most of the time after peeled and having 500 points uh, yeah. probably That's just prevents game. anything from, from winning. So. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, wow. whatever, whatever we're going to see, we're going to have Josh as the, uh, as the skirmish champion. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Are you two like, you two are like kind of rivals. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, we're friendly rivals. So I love to yeah. see it. Yeah, absolutely. Friendly rivals. Oh, two seconds gonna... left. Billy. Two seconds uh, left, yeah. That's, Billy. that's funny. Is he going to get the last play down? We'll see. Maybe this is a good time to phony. I mean, it doesn't matter, but yeah. He matter. needs to put oh, the play on the board, and he needs to hit enter immediately when he hears, hears the cue sound that yeah. uh, Josh has made his play. And he needs to make sh make sure that the play is that's on the board is not getting blocked. So yeah, yeah, something like that. Obviously, this this all completely this uh, is all it doesn't matter. He, he's down almost two hundred. It's just us musing about something because we need to pick up time. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, you did it! Another you did it! Another six hundred game. Oh, uh, this is so. Uh, this is such bad. Like this be we're a teaching great people, we're teaching people <laughs> such such bad things. This is so dirty. <laughs> this would be a. Great I wanted game. to have another six hundred <laughs> point game. Yeah. Yeah. You, right, got, well it. Done. you got it, dude. No, Josh. Thank you. I was actually trying uh, to win. When Congratulations to Josh, the Scrabble Skirmish champion. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, what, what a way to win. What, what bad misses? Did I, is Shruggy a word? Did I miss something on the Ruggy turn? I almost had Pargargas moving tribute. Oh, very nice. I did not even think about that, but that is... Yeah, Will talked about that in the chat. Oh, he did. Mm -hmm. 
I was not thinking about it. I'm not looking at the comments. I'm looking at the private comments. Oh, what, a, what a beautiful Scrabble board. Man, <laughs> congrats, Josh. Let's put something on him, Thank yeah? You. Josh what a crown. Can we, can we get like get a crown a, onto his head? Give him a crown or something. What <laughs> we do real quick with the streaming stuff? Was this the highest rated Scrabble skirmish of all time? It would have to be. I mean, we didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, why why is he in, in front of me? No. Okay, 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 okay. Um yeah. I feel I like it was I don't think I'm as strong as Nigel, but no, no, I don't think Nigel would have made my last play, whereas I did. And so yeah. you know, I think that's that's an insight that he you know better, he yeah, better than Nigel. I I, wow. uh, I mean heck wholeheartedly your words, not mine. Um, yeah, what, oh, what was I, like, what was I supposed to do for the opening? I have, like, I have no idea. I could not bring I myself to, to make a Z, Z play. I Is mean, Z, a, Z, E, no, just, just Z, E, I think. I think Z, Z, E, oh, that's probably fine. That's probably and fine. Then, and then, then on the Zaw turn, go ahead, Matthew. Oh, what am I supposed to do on the Zaw turn? I screwed that up, too. No, we, we liked Zaw. Okay, runs, all right. Probably, runs. The, the, yeah. The, the um, oh the yeah, showed Ron's but yeah. E N R S T. That, <laughs> that that's that's a, that sounds stronger. Hey, let's let's throw some uh, some emotes in this chat. This is what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, guys, like this. We're at 17 likes, 23 viewers. So are six of you seriously not liking what you see? Like, what's going on? Cool. Like, subscribe. Yeah, know, it's annoying. It's annoying. Do it. Let's go. We're gonna talk about our next step so next weekend i'm running a one-day tournament in providence rhode island and then after that it would be lake george in october which i think we'll all be at so what's the Matt, website what's the, uh... oh the uh, website sorry. yeah nice. my plug is the the link listed next to my name is on the website of the coco and it's um, a collection of powerpoints that i would release alongside my twitch when i used to be an active twitcher and they're based on scrabble strategy awesome what were you gonna say nice. Josh? i was gonna say uh matt what's the entry fee for new collins players in your tournament next week zero you hear that if you have never played a Collins tournament for it is zero. And how and much where, could you stand to win? Uh, oh, if it is your first Collins tournament and you win, I'm offering a $500 prize. So you heard it here, folks. You heard it wow. here. Interesting. Wait. Wait. Oh man, I shouldn't have played Collins. Wait, where is this tournament? <laughs> Providence. Providence, Rhode Island. So anyone that's close, if you win this tournament, man, that is awesome. Okay, yeah. who's next? Who's next in plugging? Oh. Ton of cliff. Uh, what do you let's have see. To say? What do I have to say? We have a uh, Heidi is running a one one day tournament in Ottawa, November eleventh. If you're nearby, come come play in that one. Um, there's also one in Gananoque the weekend after that. I think the third weekend in November. That's a two day tournament. Be good for anybody in Ontario or. Uh, New York or Quebec to come to that one. And uh, that's it. See what's in the new year for me. I'm not sure yet. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Uh, who, who, which Josh? Which Josh? You want to rock, paper, scissors? No, just, just go ahead. Talk. All right. Talk um, about your amazing accomplishments. Josh has just see. done, he's done so much. For oh, the game, thank you. Honestly. Thank you. Well, ha well for everyone upcoming... here has. Of course. It's true. It's true. For upcoming tournaments, let's see. I got the next one is uh, going to be Lake George, I think, as the others have mentioned. And then the week after that, there's a tournament in Potomac, Maryland. Um, so if you're local to the area and keen on playing some Collins, check it out at cocoscrabble.org. Um, I also have this sort of very old but still working site called Random Racer. And if you happen to annotate your cross tables games, it will pull those stats and put them in a, a neat little page for you to look at. And um, I guess I also do some work on Wiggles, the site we play on. Um, big stuff coming soon. Big things coming soon, as they say. We're always saying that, and then it takes always longer than we think. But it's always coming soon. We want to get the uh, the analyzer to be able to sim. And we uh, were recently testing out a a strong computer player that does sims instead of 
just playing the best equity move. So. All right. Yeah. Like online computer, on. computer simulation analysis is awesome. Yeah. That's going to be huge for the game. We've never had that before. Great. Hopefully, awesome. yeah. Hopefully it will get even more users on Wuggles and uh, uh, convinced about how much uh, better it is than everything else. We'll see. Go, go, go. Uh, I should have posted a hyperlink, but that that's me in the chat directing you to the best Scrabble website on the internet. Okay, for me, I don't know. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah, I've decided since I have some uh, some prize money from the uh, <laughs> from the North American Scrabble Players Championship, I am going to point myself fully in the direction of content creation and education. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm starting a uh, a cool after school program. Uh, to teach high school kids uh, how to play. Um, if anyone's in the Montreal area and uh, wants to play Scrabble, we have a Scrabble club here that meets every Wednesday. Uh, I might even start a second club. I'm not really sure about that. And I run some really casual pub tournaments um, downtown at a really nice uh, free venue. So uh, my next tournament's going to be uh, for Halloween, October 29th. Other than that, I'll just be here trying to make content live stream on uh, on twitch.tv slash typo some uh, some YouTube videos I'm trying to post every day on my YouTube channel, uh, shorts and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, really, really looking forward to uh, to see what's next for for content creation uh, on on YouTube. It's been awesome. We have people making videos every day, every week. I think we're gonna see a. A Will Anderson video as well released, as well as the uh, video of uh, that we talked about earlier in the stream um, from this channel, Let's Play Scrabble dot com, um, releasing another video from the uh, the twenty twenty three World Cup. So here it is again, the thumbnail: uh, Joel Sherman versus Jackson Smiley. Um, pretty epic game, and uh, that's about it. Honestly, this is uh, this has been really fun. Um, you guys really should, should check out Let's Play Scrabble.com. The Lake George tournament is coming uh, in less than a month. That'll be live streamed on here as well. Um, what else is going on? If you're enjoying, obviously, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you did enjoy, yeah, go to Let's Play Scrabble.com. I don't know what else to say. I mean, thanks yeah. again, Josh Greenway, for hosting this. Three Joshes, two Matthews. Thanks Congrats for the again games. to Josh C. Lots of fun. And... Well, should I say my, my thing? Spread the word and spread the words. <laughs> Sorry. I love saying that. Okay. Uh, let's cut. I, I'm embarrassed. All right. See everyone on Lake George. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, everyone.
the ten possibilities. Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities. So do better. Work hard under pressure. If you got no time, work smarter than ever. Don't ever let them tell you that you can't ever say never. And turn your mind into the truest to go getters. Never stop. I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit. Keep going till I got it. I won't give my 